The Prudential College School Board is brought to you by Prudential for life, health, auto, or home insurance. When you think about your financial security, see a Prudential agent. Get a piece of the rock. Prudential Insurance. This is Bill Fleming along with Steve Davis saying so long from Spartan Stadium in East Lansing, Michigan. Stay tuned now. It'll be the Trojans of Southern California against the Huskies of Washington. Tomorrow, it's a Mork and Mindy doubleheader as they first uncover the naked truth at a daring dance palace. And then Mork joins forces with another alien. Mork and Mindy, tomorrow, here on ABC. At Seattle Trust, we give you a whole lot of bank for your money. We give you full-service banking on Saturdays. We're the only bank with four free checking plans. The only bank with a 24-hour emergency phone. And what's more, we're the only bank that gives you your very own personal banker. Yes, we're a whole lot of bank for your money. Seattle Trust, person-to-person -person banking. If you're in the mood for a waterfront world, come to Lakewood Shores. There's rare moorage available on beautiful Lake Sammamish only steps away. You're at home with swimming, water skiing, sailing, canoeing, and rowing. Choose from one, two, and three bedroom homes from only $37,900. Buy at lower interest rates now. Lakewood Shores, your own waterfront world. Lakewood Shores Condominium. Call 883-3399 for driving directions. The 1928 Olympics. The U.S. has a winner. 1952. We do it again. 1976. History repeats itself. 1980, Lake Placid. The U.S. has another winner, Mobile One. Mobile One helps get you started, even at 35 below. And no one beats that. Husky football, Sunday at 5 on Channel 4. If USC wins today, and again November 24 over UCLA, the Rose Bowl, and an undefeated season will be theirs. If Washington wins today and then beats Washington State next week, they could get the Rose Bowl assignment. USC tie with Stanford will have to figure with meaning if the Huskies win here today. And there is still the matter of the eight players at Arizona State University whose eligibility is not yet fully determined because of some grade transfers. And if it should wind up that Arizona State has to, because of that eligibility question, forfeit some of the games, then Washington would have the one loss you see there washed from their uh, record. So the decision regarding Arizona State University and those eight players will have some meaning down the road. Incidentally, it has been advertised that the Pac-10 Conference hoped to have a decision by November 14. That is not necessarily the case. It may be longer than that. Hello again, everybody. I'm Keith Jackson. And I think it is fair to say that if Washington wins here today over USC, it will be considered something of an upset because the Huskies have been decimated in their backfield by injuries. They lost a great running back here, a record setter in Joe Steele, and Kyle Stevens, the number two tailback, is also down with injuries. Kind of interesting that John Robinson, historically, when he brings his football team up here to play, likes to put the ball in a water bucket at home in that dry climate of Los Angeles and let the youngsters work with a wet football. Well, this week, it rained, honest to goodness, rain on Wednesday, and the Trojans had a chance to go out and splash around in the mud some. And now, I suppose John might be worried as to whether or not they're going to be able to handle a dry ball up here this afternoon, because we know Washington's defense is potent, and they're going to put a lot of heat on Southern California this afternoon. There are some outstanding people that you'll see playing college football this afternoon. And let's begin with the USC Trojans, because they have in their stable two of the really top offensive players in all of college football this year. I'm speaking primarily of one man, number 16, Paul McDonald, the brilliant left-handed quarterback who completed 25 passes last week against Arizona for 380 yards. He is the unquestioned field leader, confident, cool, and poised. And of course, when you talk about Southern California offense, you talk about the tailback position, and they've got a great one there this year. Charles White, number 12. And if Charles White today gains 17 yards or more, he will then move into second place all time in collegiate rushing, second only to Tony Dorsett of Pittsburgh. White is the top rusher in the country this year, averaging nearly 171 yards per game. But a measure of Charles White's career, I think, is found in these numbers. He has run for more than 100 yards in 28 football games in his career at Southern California. 
and that is truly remarkable. The University of Washington special teams have made a lot of noise this year and won some games for the Husky. A young man named Mark Lee plays cornerback, but he also returns punts for Washington, and three times this season he has run back punts for touchdowns, each one of them a major factor in a game. The 64-yarder he had last Saturday provided the win for Washington over California. And here come the Trojans out of the tunnel and into the stadium. And as the white-shirted Trojans come out, led by their coach John Robinson, you see their record reflected there. It brings a big groan from this crowd of more than 60,000 people at UW Stadium. They respect them. And they know full well how deep and talented this Southern California football team is. But when the purple shirts of the Huskies come out, you get this kind of reaction. today as our commentator and analyst first time Frank has ever done a football game out of the University of Washington Stadium and you've got a good one to work with today when you get in your home stadium Southern Cal your fans are going to participate in the game they're going to be active and support every way that they can let's talk a little bit about this Southern California offense now the balance that John Robinson and his coaching staff have been able to achieve it's very impressive <clears throat> 466 yards on offense 290 rushing 166 passing and much of the credit has got to go to the offensive line led by Brad Buddy the All-American football player. They're very imposing Keith They're awesome in fact averaging 6 4 in height and over 255 pounds and they have perfected the toughest technique in football to block for both the run and the pass. They are something else. Defense however for the Trojans not as imposing as it has been in times past. No teams have been able to move the ball against the Trojans particularly against the pass and in talking to Don James the Washington coach he feels they've got to throw the ball to win the day. Don James, on the other hand, has used the special teams, the defense, to score points this year. Yes, he's convinced his defensive teams that there's more ways to score when you're on defense than when you're on offense. And these units have combined for seven touchdowns. And he believes today he's got to get at least one from the kicking teams and also from his defense. He's going to try some shenanigans, though. And I say that uh, with my tongue in cheek because what he is doing today, he hopes to do today, is take a page right out of the Los Angeles Rams, what they did to the Seahawks last week in pro football, and that sent a seven, eight, nine men in front of him. He said, he told me yesterday, you can't defeat Southern Cal playing college football we're going after them. we're going to take chances they may hurt us with it but our only chance to win is to upset McDonald and what okay that's the preamble for today's football game matching the Huskies of Washington at home against the USC Trojans the 1980s Chevrolet Monte Carlo with its rich new interior and its distinguished new exterior a responsive V6 so efficient, it offers these impressive EPA mileage estimates. And there's something else new and exciting. An available turbocharged V6 engine that gives passing acceleration on demand. But above all, Monte Carlo's a sheer joy to drive. 1980 Monte Carlo from Chevrolet. I just discovered oil. I just discovered oil. People are discovering Texaco's new Haviland Supreme, the motor oil with a special friction fighter that's been proven in fuel economy tests. Extensive tests showed that two of the leading 10W40 motor oils advertising extra gasoline mileage couldn't beat new Haviland Supreme. And you still get Haviland's trooper-tested engine protection, too. Discover new Haviland Supreme. Protection plus unbeaten mileage. We don't have the sunshine today that... They have had here recently, sort of a gray day, 47 degrees, and the series record goes like this. But the last meeting, in fact, the last two meetings here in Seattle, Washington has beaten Southern California. So we're ready for the kickoff as the Trojans will receive it. The man that USC likes to have it come back in the arms of Raymond Butler, and the kick is in the air. Butler drifts over, but it is Marcus Allen who takes it, number 33. The Trojans and the Huskies fight for it. Let's see where they'll give it. They'll give it to USC. Down at the 17-yard line and almost right there was an opportunity for Washington. It will be a game of hitting this afternoon. Here's the play. 
Marcus Alley, number 33, a very fine football player, really gets hit over the left part of your screen. The ball comes right out, and let's see who if we can detect who makes the sensational effort. Number Michael Hayes covers it. Michael Hayes, number 25, great effort on his part. And the first play from the offensive set now for the Southern California Trojans and Washington sets up there with a five man front. Now the linebacker steps into the hole. The ball is given to the fullback Allen. Allen gets it up to the 20 just over the 20. Big sophomore from San Diego California. Here's the way the Trojans line up. Paul McDonald the senior out of Covina will open at quarterback and obviously Charles White will be at tailback for USC. There's big Marcus Allen who's already been involved in two moments in this ball game. Kevin Williams the flanker from San Fernando and Danny Garcia last time we saw USC Garcia had a very big day against Notre Dame. It is second down from just over the 20 and let's call it seven yards for USC. Rakshani in motion. Charles White's first carry of the day is up across the 25 to the 26. He's about a yard short of the first down. The offensive front that Frank Rawls mentioned, Mosbar, big freshman, 265 pounds. Roy Foster, 260 pounds. Chris Foote, the center, 250. Brad Buddy, the big guard, 253 pounds. Keith Van Horn, the tackle, 250. And the tight end is Hobie Brenner at 235 pounds. It is third down and a yard to go for USC. Washington now with a six, seven man front. McDonald gives to White. White's got the first down as Charlie gets over the 30 out to the 31. And so much for that drama. The Huskies are working this way defensively. Doug Martin, Stafford Mays, and Chris Lennon are the big guys on the down position. The linebackers are Jim Pence, Antoine Richardson, Jerry McLean, and Bruce Harrell. Harrell, the leading tackler. Secondary is Mark Lee, Lance Todale, Greg Grimes, and Derek Harvey. The referee is John Presley for this ball game as the Trojans break it first and 10 at their own 31. And McDonald's first passing effort of the day. Pressure down he goes back at the 21. Antoine Richardson, a senior out of Linwood, California, sacks the USC quarterback. This is what can happen when you're sending six, seven man front up there and sometimes eight. And, uh, Richardson was unblocked, uh, Keith, and he has four or five speed. And he was on top of McDonald before he rec realized it. Big loss. The ball is back at the 22 yard line. They've got to go to the 41 for the first down. They need 19 on second down. It's Charles White on the 28 pitch play or the so-called student body right and Charles is up to the 28 yard line he got the better part of six yards on the carry. remember going into the ball game now he only needed 17 yards to take over second place and he has achieved that he's he's tied with it yeah he's tied now next carry he'll get it third down about 13 Double wide to the left side for Southern Cal on third and long. McDonald back to throw, looks over the middle for Garcia. The pass is deflected, and once again, there was terrific pressure from the Washington defensive front as big Doug Martin came boring in and listened to the crowd react as the Husky defense forces USC into fourth down and the punt. The fans could play a big part in them momentum of this football game for yes. Washington Huskies. Especially with Mark Lee back there who has been so dramatic. He has run three punt returns back for long touchdowns this year. David Pryor is in to hit it. Pressure on. The kick is away. It's kicked to the sidelines and away from Mark Lee. He made no effort to get to it at all. The ball was angled way away from him and Washington opens with Tom Flick at quarterback. Vince Kobe will be at the tailback. Tucson Tyler is a very good fullback, a big junior. Paul Scancy is a freshman, and he can flat fly at the flanker. Aaron Williams is another freshman. He's in there because Ron Blacken is injured. He may play some today, but Williams is also another flyer for the Huskies. So here comes Washington up now, first down at their own 32-yard line and their first possession of the ball game. The tight end, Bales, jumps the count. David Bale, junior out of San Marino, came in from junior college 
and he jumps ahead of the snap. So that'll cost him five. Joe Sanford is a tackle for Washington, 275. Phil Foreman at 238 pounds. Tom Tenure, the center, at 240. Dan Shavira, 245-pound senior. Randy Van Devere, 255-pounder. And Bale at 228. So they're not small up front either. From the 27, first down and 15 now for Washington. Flicks got it on a roll and looking downfield. Puts it in the air and the pass is complete up to the 34-yard line. Making the catch, Gensey, number 94, 5'11", 185-pound freshman out of Gig Harbor, Washington. Keith, that was a good call. You can see Scansey's just a down-out pattern, but they had first and 15. They needed to go for the pass, and there was good throw, good concentration by the freshman Scansey's. He pushed out of bounds by Ward. So from the 34-yard line, it'll be second down and eight for Washington. Cut, cut, cut! He's going to end it in the middle this time to the tailback. Kobe, and Kobe is up across the 40. Just short of the first down, Dennis Smith, number 49. In on the tackle for Southern California. The defensive unit for Southern California, the three down linemen, Myron Lapka, Ty Sperling, and Dennis Edwards. Linebackers, Larry McGrew, Dennis Johnson, uh, Eric Scoggins, and Ricky Gray. Brian Darby is in there now instead of Scoggins. Herb Ward, Jeff Fisher, Ronnie Lott, and Dennis Smith, the secondary. It's third down. They need a yard. Goes to the tailback. Kobe goes up over the top. His helmet and shoulder came down right at the 42, just over it. They marked the ball just beyond it. It's first down, Washington. That's what we call a confidence build, a first down. Get a penalty, uh, first snap, and then make the first down at the first and 15. Homecoming, the reunion of the 1960-61 Rose Bowl teams. Yes, indeed, they are foaming up here in Seattle. They are really jacked up for this ball game. There's a lot at stake. Scancy is way wide. He's well out of the picture. Flick goes, looks for him. He cuts it. The pass is put up to Bale. The tight end. He grabs it at the 49-yard line and brought down just short of midfield. That is not enough for a first down. Here comes some pressure in the middle. C63, Ty Sperling, and they hold him out of there. Now he gets through and he makes Flick unload it. Ricky Gray had uh, collision. This is Perlin, 63, the nose guard. Watch him put pressure. Great effort on his part, but excellent execution by Flick, the quarterback. So it is second down. The ball is very near midfield. They need about two and a half yards for the first down. And the tailback, Kobe, runs into a whole bunch of trouble. 63, Sperling is there, and Ricky Gray, 35. Number 63, Sperling, the nose guard, has moved over into the gap. He shoots between the offensive guard and the center cannot block him. He penetrates right at the point of attack. Kobe for a five, four-yard loss. Dennis Johnson is shaken up on the play. He's down on the field. Time has been called in behalf of the injured Southern California player. And so with the timeout, we have 9.42 to go in the first quarter, and there is no score. Eaton helps this corn get the rain it needs every day in just the right amount. This center pivot irrigation system delivers it, regular as clockwork, in circles half a mile across. Eaton keeps it moving with lightweight hydraulic motors. Dirt and moisture don't bother them, so they keep running and running. Increasing productivity to meet the needs of a changing world. That's one of the ways Eaton profits from change. When you break horses for a living and you do it wrong, they can break you first. But when you do it right, you can turn a terrified animal into a horse a man can count on. And now comes Miller time. Time to head for the best tasting beer you can find. Miller High Life. If you've got the time. If you've got the time. We've got the beer. Miller Beer. Johnson, number 56, a linebacker. Here's how he was hurt. Number 56, the center, makes a cross body block, and actually his legs, if you'll watch it, detect that they body whip him just a little bit, leg whip him, and knocks him down. Watch him grab his left knee right here. 
He's walked off the field. Hopefully it'll be all right. From the 48-yard line of Washington now, it is third down. They've got to go to just about the Trojan 47 for the first down. They need five. Flick all day to throw. Throws incomplete. The pass intended for Scancy number 94. Covering on the play, Don Jones for USC. Steve Busick has replaced Johnson at the linebacking position. Chip Banks is not here. One of the linebackers for USC broke his nose against Arizona last week and did not make the trip. Raymond Butler and Jeff Fisher are the deep men for Southern California. Ray Butler, Jeff Fisher, deep for the Trojans. And in the punt for the University of Washington is Rich Camarillo, who was in the news himself because of a transfer earlier in the season, but that's been all cleared up. Camarillo hits a beauty. Camarillo hits it. It bounces at the five and goes into the end zone. So the Huskies are not able to down it deep at the 52-yard punt. We have about a five-mile-an-hour wind. And here are some scores. Penn State barely scratching out a victory today over North Carolina State by a score of 9-7. to seven. Kind of a long season for Joe Paterno at Penn State. Some numbers on these two teams. You can see they both like to do their scoring on the ground, though USC has been quite prolific this year through the air. First down at the 20 for the Trojans. White gains a couple of yards and he has now moved into second place in the all time rushing column behind Tony Dorsett of Pitt. Lance Todale, the cornerback, was coming up, putting on some heat that time, and those Washington cornerbacks are very active people. In last year's game against Washington, White rushed for less than 50 yards. They did an excellent job of defense. Second down and eight, just outside the Trojan 22. Kevin Williams lines up in a tight end position now. They hide him there quite a bit. McDonald rolls out and he's looking for him and he's got him. And Kevin Williams is written down at the 24 yard line and number 48, Antoine Richardson, rides him down hard and shakes him up. Kevin is down on the field. If he is hurt, then it may mean a lot of things because one of the things that USC had in its playbook today was to try to hide him not only at tight end, which they've been doing for years, but also put him at a tailback position to give him a little more opportunity to throw the ball. But right now he is down on the field. This is uh, Williams breaking out of the tight end position and he catches the pass and then he is hurt as Antoine Richardson rides him down. Richardson, number 48, the strong linebacker. Let's see if we can see exactly how he was injured. Tune in KOMO radio after the game today for college football scoreboard. Well, it, was a, it looked like a clean tackle clean. to me. Just fell right on his head, it looked like. Could have been a shoulder injury. I know that. You can, uh, when a receiver falls on his shoulder, many times on artificial turf, Keith, that uh, makes for a separation. Very painful. Williams now has 48 receptions in his career at USC for 19 touchdowns. One more pass reception would tie the school record. Jeff Simmons will go in, number 29, a freshman to replace him at the flanker position. Time is out. Unfortunately for an injured Kevin Williams, 8.25 to go first quarter, there is no score. Who's the symbol of good customer care? Mr. Goodwrench. Who stands for your GM dealer's commitment to improving service at over 6,000 participating dealerships? Mr. Goodwrench. Whose face is seen nearly everywhere? Mr. Goodwrench's. Look for him. He wants to show you he cares about you and your GM car. It's him, Mom. Keep that great GM feeling. It's Mr. Goodrent. With genuine GM parts. A six-hour select division. Ah, the new video cassette recorder from RCA. Yeah. Go on, buy one. Better wait till the price comes down. Live a little. Penny saved. Don't wait. Rebate. Huh? But the RCA Select Division don't wait rebate. RCA will send you $100 if you buy now. $100 rebate? Uh-huh. Well, what are you waiting for? The RCA Select Division don't wait rebate. If there's ever a time to buy one, it's now. What a rebate. What a deal. What a steal. 
School activities are the other half of education, but are supported by less than 1% of the school budget in most communities. That's the best bargain in education. The National Federation of State High School Associations urges you to support high school activities which educate boys and girls with unmatched economic efficiency. They're still ministering to Kevin Williams. Possible shoulder injury. Let's hope not. Third down. The ball is at the 25-yard line. Third and five for Southern California. And you've got ten men on the line of scrimmage. And one of them gets in there and gets Paul McDonald. Bruce Harrell, the leading tackler for the Huskies. And that's exactly what Don James said he would do in his defensive gamble. And for the second time, it's paid off. Let's watch Harold, number 55. They have an 11-man line. You can't see all of them, but you notice that he comes unblocked because you can't block 11 when you try a forward pass. And he wrestled McDonald to the ground. And it's fourth down with Pryor in the punt and Lee to receive it for Washington. Pryor standing will hit it inside his five. Again, gets pressure, gets the kick away. Lee again will have no opportunity to return it, but Washington gets the football in Southern California territory. It was a 31-yard punt by Pryor, hitting into about a 5 to 10 mile an hour win. So it is a bruised shoulder for Kevin Williams. It is not a separation. At least the indication is that it's not a separation, though they may have a better look at it at halftime. The ball is marked at the 47-yard line of Southern California. First down, Washington. Bale, the tight end, goes in motion. The ball is given to Tusa Tyler, the fullback, and Tyler hits it to the 44. Picks up three yards on the carry. Keith, that was the first run by Washington on first down. The other possession they threw on first down, mixing it up beautifully, trying to keep the Southern Cal defense off balance. Dennis Johnson is back in the ball game for Southern Cal, so he's shaking off the twisted leg that he had, and he's back in there. Second and six, the 43. Give the progress to the 43-yard line, make it second down and six for the Huskies. This time they're in a split back formation. Let's see if it reads pass. Yes, it does. The pass is away. The pass is complete. Skensi has it down at the 33-yard line of Southern California. That little freshman really Let's watch Skins. He's going to run a delayed route. He's going to hesitate to a 360 degrees. Come inside. The ball is right on target. Watch this little freshman run with the football. He nearly escapes this group of white shirts right here. Finally, they get him down. First down. At the 33-yard line, 11 yards on the pickup. The pass completion. And John Fessler, the referee, walks in and charges Washington with a timeout with 6 minutes and 24 seconds to play in the first quarter. We have no score in the ball game, but right now it is Washington that is making the first real offensive threat. Where Westinghouse generates power, you'll find Westinghouse protection. We invented circuit breakers 50 years ago. Today, they protect utilities, as well as industrial machinery and homes. And now we're putting more protection where it's even more important. The new Westinghouse ground fault receptacle protects you. Westinghouse, the producer. Westinghouse, the protector. Westinghouse, a powerful part of your life. New Kodak Instant Color Film and the Drama Club Hayride. Oh, no. Talk about flops. This happens. Hey, maybe not. Let's see. Suddenly. No, no, no. Suddenly, you see a smile. New Kodak Instant Color Film. Now brighter, sharper color in half the time. Next Saturday, first, a classic rivalry. The Ohio State Buckeyes battle the Michigan Wolverines. Then Miami takes on number one Alabama on ABC. There's a shocking final for you, and not all that shocking, really. Purdue's a quality football team. They won a big one today at home, beating the Michigan Wolverines 24-21. And we'll have highlights of that at halftime for you on our Fireman's Fun flashback. It is first down, Washington, at the Southern California 33-yard line. First quarter, no score. 
Tom Flick gives the ball off to the tailback. That's Kobe and Kobe hit behind the line of scrimmage. Powers his way to the 30, and Tennessee drilled Notre Dame today, 40 to 18. The Volunteers were hot after being upset by Rutgers last week, and they just jumped all over the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Georgia continues undefeated in the Southeastern Conference, and the possibility of the Sugar Bowl assignment routing Florida today as the Gators continue winless. Second down and uh, about eight, or a long seven if you like. Flicks back to throw. Goes over the middle with it. He goes deep to Scancy, and it's too deep. And Thomas Lott, number 42, really rode Scancy coming off the line of scrimmage. They got away with it. Yes, they did. It was man-to-man -man coverage. They had three wide receivers and put Southern Cal really in a bind, and uh, they were very fortunate to get by without a touchdown. Had Flick been right on target, he would have been a TD. One of the things to notice again here, though, that USC so far has not manifested a good deal of pressure on the Washington quarterback. And Tom Flick is undefeated in his three starts at uh, Washington. Third and eight. It is third down, call it eight, for Washington at the Trojan 30. Flick will put it up. His pass over the middle is complete. It is caught by number 91, Aaron Williams, the other freshman. And it's a first down for the Huskies inside the Southern California 18-yard line. Fisher made the tackle. Let's watch how cool Flick is. Number 12. He finally spots Williams coming right across the middle. Watch Williams concentrate and hold the football for completion as Fisher, number 40, is covering and man for man. Watch it again. 91. Williams is a freshman. Fisher, number 40, is coming right across, man for man, but could not break up the pass. 13-yard pickup. Ball at the 17-yard line of Southern California. The ball is given to Tucson Tyler, the fullback. And Tyler gets it across the 15 for about two, two and a half yards. John Robinson told us that he was one thing concerned him about Washington was the ability to run and throw, mix it up similar to his own football team. If that happened, it would be a long afternoon for Southern Cal. 4.50 to go in the first quarter. The Huskies manifesting a threat, the first threat of the ball game. You can see the Trojans have been stingy defensively in the first quarter of the season. Second down from just inside the 15. Flick hands the ball off to Kobe. Here's where they missed Steele. Steele is not the quickest, was not the quickest running back in college football, but he was a shifty sort of a fellow. There was a hole there that Kobe could not get to. Steele might have, or Stevens with his speed might have, but that's if and or but they ain't playing that's a good call keith colby has not been a tailback very long he's played fullback up until two weeks ago all right the trojans bow in their neck here the football is down at the 13 yard line it is third down third and six flick the throw gets it off over the middle to fail the tight end and bail fighting for the yardstick Right in the center of the field is close to his first down. Just depends on how much they'll give him, and if they don't give him the first down, and they're not going to, it's going to force Don James into a decision. They will go. Watch Bale 84. It's again the delay pass. These are possession type passes that you should complete about 80% of the time. But watch it. He nearly fumbles the ball, but grabs it back for the completion. It is fourth down and one. Fourth and one, just outside the eight-yard line of USC. Here come penalty flags all over the field. It looked like the right side of the Washington line was wiggling. Ben Devere. And if that's the case, that will bring in the field goal unit. Keith, what happened is, is fourth and one. Everybody's ready to charge and make the first down. But the quarterback changes the play, which takes longer, and they got over anxious. Jumped and off so side. Mike Lansford comes in. He has not tried a field goal from inside the 20 this year. Well, watch 79, Vandeveer. He just couldn't wait. He was too anxious to make that one yard. This will be a 29-yard attempt, and Lansford is five out of five from this distance. A lot of leg, and he drills it. And the Washington Huskies, with two minutes and 57 seconds to play in the first quarter, take a 3-0 lead over the Southern California Trojans. 
So if they had not made the offensive mistake, if the big tackle had been able to keep his poise under the circumstance, who knows, they might have taken it in for six. But they do get three out of it. That's a big three. Four and first against Southern Cal. There's Joe Steele, who broke all of the running records at Washington, the records held by Hurry and Hugh McElhaney, who has been honored, put into the Hall of Fame last night. Joe busted his knee a couple of weeks ago, and his career is over. And boy, he was a dandy around here. Over 3,000 career yards, which places him seventh in the Pac-10. Look at K-State. Give it to Nebraska today. Leading 12-7 in the third quarter. But you're now getting that ball game getting down where depth will probably start to tell. Ohio State winning big today, 34-7. You know, if Michigan should uh, get all pumped up and upset Ohio State next week, then Purdue's in pretty good shape for the run to the Roses, aren't they? Yeah, I, I know Bo Schimbacher must be low for many reasons. Jim Young is his former coach on his staff for many years. See, the Hogs have finally come back to take a 20-17 to 17 lead over Baylor after trailing at one time in that ball game, 14 to nothing. Here's the kickoff now, and it's Marcus Allen at the two-yard line. Allen is down. At the 15, they'll give him to about the 16. It was Bill Stapleton who came roaring <laughs> downfield. I told you they were foaming up here, and boy, this is a, a fiercely partisan crowd of 60,000 people. Stapleton, Keith, ran right through the wedge and just made the tackle by himself. Excellent play on his part. Now it's up to Paul McDonald, the poised, confident senior quarterback to get him a rain. They've got double tight in alignment with James Hunter and Hobie Brunner, both in there right now. Charles White. And Charles White runs it across the 20. They'll give Charlie about five yards on that carry. ABC's presentation of NFL Monday Night Football, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas 8-2 and two in the NFC East, the top team in the National Conference in total offense. Philadelphia second place in the NFC East, so the Eagles will be trying to zero in on the Cowboys. Danny Garcia, number 26, is now in there wide for USC, and McDonald rolls it out to throw it. He's looking for Garcia, but goes instead for Brenner. And Brenner, cutting across at the 35, makes the catch for a Trojan first down. Here, the poise and confidence of a senior quarterback is so important. He had to have a careful throw as a bootleg. And on a bootleg pattern, you'll notice the linebackers are taught to look for the crossing end. And that's exactly what McDonald's doing. He's showing the tool, but he has to have a perfect throw, as you can see. Absolutely perfect for the completion. Just short of the 35-yard line, the Trojans first down. McDonald to Charles White. White coming to the outside, and the Huskies get him. That's tough defense. If you're going to play the student body sweep, Keith, you've got to force it in the backfield, and Todale, number 10, was back in there and forced White to change his direction until pursuit could get to him. Excellent play on their part. Richardson went outside and forced him back inside for the tackle. And it is second down. White gaining about a yard. Second and nine. Just over the 35. Washington bouncing around on its defensive set. The ball goes to Charles White the other way. And the Huskies roll him down. But again, the great ability of that offensive unit up front. The big guys in the trenches. And the toughness of White takes the ball to the 39. I said of Charles White at the Notre Dame game earlier this year that I thought he was made out of doorknobs because he is so tough and so durable. Garcia. And Butler are wide men. And White goes in motion. On third down, McDonald is back to throw. He loops it out. The pass is incomplete intended for Raymond Butler. Butler was all alone. I mean, there wasn't been a Husky within 10 yards of him, and McDonald missed him. The man in motion forced uh, Washington to change their defense, and they both covered the man in motion. No one covered Butler. He was wide open, but a poor throw by McDonald, incomplete. Lee now drops back. Remember, he's the man who has run three long punt returns for touchdowns, a 64-yarder last week, beat California. Third punt of the ball game for Southern California. Breyer's kick is away, and it's not a very good kick. But it does take a 
Trojan roll and will roll dead at the 18-yard line of Washington. 31 seconds to play in the first quarter. Washington leading USC by a score of 3-0 on a 29-yard field goal. And there's the final from the Michigan State-Minnesota game, which many of you saw earlier today. As Derek Hughes had a day, didn't he? Great. Four touchdowns. And Hubert Simpson, a big day for the Volunteers of Tennessee. And what a big win that is for Johnny Major. Oh, a big win. Johnny's... Mark Herman, a big day. The Purdue went out of a shotgun some today, too. You'll see some of that on the Fireman's Fun flashback. The ball is marked very near the 20, where the first contact was made by USC. First down, Huskies. Ball goes to the tailback, Kobe. Kobe gets a couple of yards, maybe three, just on brute strength. Myron Lapka and Dennis Johnson and Ty Sperling were there, and they rode him before they finally got him down. The reason that you have to throw a lot on first down against Southern Cal, Keith, they stack against the run, trying to force you to throw, spotting you the pass, but trying to stop you for a loss on the run. Call it a gain of three, make it second down and seven for the Huskies, and they will not get the playoff. So we've played 15 minutes of football here in Seattle, Washington, and the Huskies are leading USC three to nothing. And I personally assure you, you're getting a genuine bargain. I ought to use Autolite. You ought to use Autolite. Instead of your old worn-out plugs, put in new Autolites. They've got a fused glass seal that gives you full power for starting. You ought to use Autolite. I've been thinking about the market lately. Yeah. My broker says now's a good time to look into tax-free income. What'd your broker say? Well, my broker's E.F. Hutton, and E.F. Hutton says... When E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. Chevrolet demonstrates the two sides of Chevy Citation. It's a new Chevy kind of compact. Chevy Citation is compact enough to fit into three quarters of a parking space and offer gas mileage estimates you'd expect from a smaller car. But inside, Citation has mid-size room for five adults and station wagon utility. The first Chevy of its kind. This could be the car you've had in mind. Chevy Citation. The Washington Huskies have the football, second down, and seven yards to go from their own 23-yard line as we start the second quarter of play with the Huskies leading the Trojans three to nothing. Tom Flick is the quarterback. His pass is to the sidelines. His pass is complete to Scancy. And the freshman wide receiver is drilled out of bounds by Ronnie Lott. Man coverage, and Skench is going to give Ronnie Lott a busy afternoon, apparently. Well, Ronnie Lott is the strong safety and plays linebacker a lot. Has a big score for Arkansas. Fourth quarter, 27, Baylor 20. What a ball game they've got going. Flick now is six out of eight in passing, 51 yards. Syracuse jumped on Navy today. You see the scores coming in from the east. You have Scancy wide left and Williams to the right for Washington. Flick hands it off to the fullback Tyler. And Tyler on the first down from the 31 gets a couple of yards out to about the 33. They have now changed the distance officially of the field goal by Lansford from 29 to 30 yards. So it'll go in the book as a 30-yard field goal. They play on the rug here in Seattle, and it's a, one of the places in the country where it's very useful. Second down and eight from the 33. Flick will put it up. Pass goes over the middle. It's intercepted by Dennis J Johnson. And Johnson with some help coming back down the field of the Trojans. Make a break for themselves as they pick off the pass over the middle. And that's one that Flick shouldn't have thrown. Exactly right, Keith. He forced the ball, throwing in the middle. Dennis Johnson is six foot four inches tall. 
made a leap. Let's see if we can watch. Number 56, watch the depth he gets. He turns and sprints back to the right of the corner and turns 360 degrees in time to leap right there. Sensational interception. We're in the crowd, and here are the Trojans now, cooking it to Washington 24-yard line. McDonald sets him up with Allen and White behind him. And it goes to White, and White's got a big hole over the left side, and Charles breaks it big inside the 10. Now nope, they're going to put him down at the 11, where the knee touch. Marcus Allen, the fullback, again making a big block, but the left side of the line at big freshman Mosbar and Foster open the first door. Oh, let's watch Mays, number 58, the nose guard. See and, of course, Foot, the son of number 62, knocks him right back, and look at the hole for White to go through. Got him completely laying on top of him. First down at the Washington 11-yard line, Charles White. Nothing fancy down here. Charles goes to the six, and he is belted hard. Greg Grimes and Derek Harvey, strong safety and weak safety, coming across to make the defensive play for Washington. But down here, USC knows where it's about. That big offensive front and a guy like a white at tailback, they just bang away at you. Ball is put down at the six-yard line where it is second down and four. White now, nine carries and 47 yards in the ball game. That's about what he got against the Huskies a year ago. Right side of the Trojan line jumps as McDonald audibilizes at the line of scrimmage, changes his play, and that happened to Washington when they were deep down there. Now it's happened to the Trojans. The reason it happens, as I said earlier, in that on that part of the field is you're fired up, Keith. You're, you've got your weight forward. You can't wait to block the defensive man and score the touchdown, and you're a little over anxious. Result, penalty. Five yards, backs him up just about where they started from at the 11-yard line. Second down. Washington got everybody up there. Charles White hit behind the line of scrimmage. Number 67, Mark Giroux, took his legs from under him. Charles White carries Mark It's again the value of the gamble. If uh, McDonald had uh, ridden it off and thrown the ball, it wouldn't have been anybody in the Washington end zone but a white shirt, but he didn't. Don James said that uh, he's got to gamble and take chances to stop Southern Cal powerful offense. Garcia is in. Brenner is out. That's at a wide receiver position. Danny Garcia coming to the right side out of your picture. It is third down from the 12. McDonald will throw it. He's looking for Garcia. The pass is incomplete. Penalty flag. That's going to be interference on Mark Lee. Cornerback. Lee was really riding him and he got caught. You, you can watch Lee number 19. He's playing bump and run. He's going to shove him. Now he has to take his hands off of him. Let's see if we can detect the, the interference. Lee number 19 goes in front yep. with his right hand on uh, Garcia. In, that's interference. Go back, watch it again. His right hand is the cause of the interference flag being dropped. His right hand is on top of Garcia, number 26. Back judge is John Parker, field judge Lee Cook, line judge Jack Roberts, headlines for Jack Langley, and Duke Dorn on the umpire with John Pressler, the referee. It's down at the Washington three-yard line, first and goal to go, Southern California. That's too much time, I think. yards as the Trojans make their second five-yard mistake. Keep up. In coaching your team down close to the goal line, you concentrate on not making a mistake. And both teams have gotten inside the 10, and both teams have made mistakes, this being the second for Southern Cal. I'll call it illegal procedure. Move them back to the eight-yard line, where it is first down and goal to go. shirts are up. White the ball. Maybe a yard. 
This time Mays held his ground in his duel with Chris Foote, the Trojan center. They were leveling in within one yard of the line of scrimmage, and the defense were charging through each gap, making it impossible to block all of the, the purple shirts. The ball is still at the eight-yard line, and it is second down and goal to go. White now is out at a flanker spot. Allen Malone remaining back. They've slotted Charlie White. McDonald to put it up. The Butler incomplete. Derek Harvey and Lance Todale have him covered like a blanket. <laughs> Let's watch it again. Now you're going to see Butler come in motion to try to get them moving this way. Then he goes back. Now let's watch Ken Todale, Todale right here. And number three, Harvey, just covering like a blanket. One outside and one inside. Great effort by Harvey, number three. It is third down and goal to go from the Washington eight-yard line. Put up in the corner. Garcia, touchdown. Great play by Randy Garcia. They put the ball up over Mark Lee. McDonald's pass was letter perfect, and the Trojans have taken the lead at 11.09 in the second quarter. This is the alley -oop pass. The receiver is not watching it this time. The quarterback throws the ball over his outside shoulder. Perfect throw. Excellent concentration by Garcia and the touchdown for Southern Cal. Eric Hip is in for the extra point try. was high, the hold is good, and the kick is good. And so with 11.09 to play in the first half, the Southern California Trojan off the pass interception by Dennis Johnson. He cash in with this pass play to Randy Garcia. Here it is again. Watch the concentration by Garcia. USC 7, Washington 3. Goodyear, official supplier of tires for the 1980 Winter Olympics, wants you to get a winning performance out of your car this winter. That's why Goodyear service stores will give your car a seven-point electronic tune-up starting at $41.88. And that includes three free checkups to keep your car tuned for one full year. And Goodyear can help keep your car going through just about anything this winter with the all-season Tiempo, the official tire of the 1980 Winter Olympics. Come into your nearest Goodyear service store today for more Goodyears in your car. When you get prompt professional title insurance and escrow service. That's Transamerica title. That's Transamerica. When you can count on dependability and precision engineering. That's Transamerica deal of all. That's Transamerica. When you can get more life insurance than you thought you could afford. That's Occidental Life. There are many companies in the Transamerica family and they all stand for just one thing. First rate service at a fair price. That's Transamerica. Sensational Sugar Ray Leonard, Olympic champ, unbeaten as a pro, now goes for the title against undefeated Wilfredo Benitez this month on ABC. It's 47 degrees in Seattle, at least it was when we started the game. We have not seen the sun. Paul McDonald put him on his jacket, and you see that he has just broken Pat Hayden's career passing record, 33 touchdowns. Brilliantly executed play and a reflection of the kind of balance that USC has in its offense. Bob Kerr's kickoff. It's a yard deep in the end zone to Anthony Allen, and Allen is stripped up short of the 20-yard line. They'll mark him at the 18 where the Huskies will have it first down. There are the numbers on SC's scoring effort. Remember, it was the pass interception by linebacker Dennis Johnson who dropped deep. That's put him in motion, and they took it down. the 18. They send Williams wide left and Scancy wide right. Flick pitches to the tailback Kobe. Kobe cuts it back and gets it across the 20. Next 
Next week, our presentation of college football will include these games. Ohio State and Michigan. What a big one that is always. It seems like it's always a big ball game. Alabama. Alabama playing tonight at LSU. will play Miami next Saturday, and you'll see that one. There, Bryant, tonight, Paul is trying to win his 100th game in the 70s. That's remarkable. Flick gives the ball to Kobe, and Kobe, with tremendous blocking, breaks it all the way across the 30-yard line, and the Washington offensive front just blew the Trojans off the line of scrimmage that time. Keith, that was the first time that they snapped the ball from the up position on a quick count, and they caught the Southern Cal napping just a little bit, and they got good blocking positions, big hole, and a first down by Kobe. Call it the 31-yard line. 10 15 to go in the first half. USC leading 7 to 3. Flick gives it off to the fullback. And Tyler strung out after he gets a, maybe three yards on the carry. Dennis Johnson very much involved in the defensive play for USC. Ty Sperling comes out at the nose guard position. That means big George Achika, who's a six, a 260 pound freshman, goes in to play that position, number 78. Blue Holtz pulled out a big win. He 29-20, huh? And the Holtz is tough. Yes. Second down and seven. Flick still got it, getting backyard, backdoor pressure. Pulls it down and runs it out of bounds up at the 38-yard line. Dennis Smith, number 49, coming after him. Kevin Williams has been x-rayed now and has returned to the bench, and the doctor's going to study him, and that's one of the remarkable changes that's happened over the years in college football where they don't guess anymore. They go look at it. One of the great medical centers in the world right here on campus, too. Gonna have to have a medical consultant one of these days with a color man. Third down, they need about three yards to keep the ball. Flick hands it off to the tailback, and Kobe is not going to get the first down. He's going to come up about a yard short, and that will bring up a fourth down for the University of Washington at 9:15 to go in the first half of play. So they are going to mark him about a yard short of his first down. This program, an exclusive presentation of ABC Sports. Let's pause five seconds to allow our local stations to identify themselves. You're watching KOMO TV for Seattle. The x-ray shows that the shoulder is not separated. It is a bruise. Raymond Butler is the deep man for Southern California. Rio's kick his first one was 52 yards and this one's a beauty too as Butler backs up and takes it at the 15 now he's got a little room on the sidelines and he is finally caught and dragged down up around the 30 yard line it was Tom Tenure the center who brought him down a 45 yard punt to 15 yards return we're not just a couple of animals who can only play football we can be civilized too Tennis is sophisticated, but you still got to be fast on your feet. So we still drink light beer from Miller. It's got a third less calories than the regular beer, and it's less filling. And it really tastes great. Now that we've played singles, we're looking for a nice, friendly game of doubles. Tennis, anyone? Mm -hmm. Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. July 9th. Disaster strikes the Blackwood Mountains, and Homelight is there, the Chainsaw King. As rugged and reliable as the men who run them. Stop it at Steelhead Creek, and you've got a chance. And soon, you're walking out the only way you know how, a winner. When the time in your life comes to get a chainsaw, get the king. Homelight, the Chainsaw King. This fall is the second year of competition for 38 schools in the NCAA's new Division I-AA football group. Florida A&M defeated Massachusetts for the initial championship last year, and the 1979 season climaxes with the title game December 15th to be covered by ABC. Another reflection on the Pac-10 standings, USC winning the day and winning against UCLA on the 24th can go on into the Rose Bowl with an undefeated record. But if Washington should win today, then the Huskers are still in the hunt, very much in the hunt. 
First down, the ball is at the 30. USC owns it. They lead in the game 7-3. to three. And The ball goes to Charles White. And White takes a lick from number 46, Greg Grimes, as he gets up for about three, maybe four yards on the carry. Their final scores now from the east give Charles White three yards on the carry, make it second down and seven, and the Carmen Cozes, Yale Bulldogs, 35 to 10 win today. Still undefeated. Second down, seven, as White again is your deep man. And Charles has it. And he doesn't get a lot this time. I tell you, these Huskies do play defense. Doug Martin, big number 73, is down in the trenches. Uh, you see him there for Washington now. Let's watch that battle in the trenches. That's uh, six, 68 uh, Van, Van Horn. Yeah. Trying to block him. Watch him just square it off right there. Martin probably should uh, go ahead and play football. <laughs> Third down. The ball moved back now to the 31. McDonald to put it up. Goes to the sidelines to Butler. A beautifully run play. The pass is complete. First down Southern California at the 45-yard line. That was precision, Steve. They were in man-for-man -man coverage again. Butler went down, hooked up, and then broke out in the flat. Ball was right on target. Right outside is towards the boundary for a first down. Paul McDonald has now thrown 112 successive passes without an interception. Marcus Allen, the fullback, pops it over the middle, and the ball is at the Washington 48. And you've got 7-10 to play in the first half. The Trojans sitting on a 7-3 lead and starting to move the ball. Clemson with a big win in the Atlantic Coast Conference today over North Carolina. On second down. Charles White runs and gets his first down. You just cannot give Charles White any room at all because he'll tear your grasp and go. He is a tough, hard runner. That was an excellent run, Keith. He was hit at the line of scrimmage for a short gain, but the power in his legs, he just kept turning and made the first down. Michael Hayes has gone in a tailback, replacing Charles White as he comes out. 14 rushes now and 53 yards. So Hayes is in a tailback. And he's in motion. They're storming. You've got to take chances when you're the underdog against a team that's so impressive offensively like Southern Cal. And Don James told me yesterday, for those that tuned in late, we're going to gamble, we may get burned, but we're going after it. And that's what's happened so far. It's a loss of about five, make it second down and 15. The ball is back at the 46-yard line, and Charles White is back in at tailback. Harold 55 was right there, but it was Martin who made the stop. Sensational play by Doug Martin, Keith. He was nose up on Van Horn, one of their great blockers. He penetrated and got White before he ever got started. Ball is still at the 46. It is third down, about 14. Short 15. Wide receivers all over the field. They've got three of them out there. Now they put Simmons in motion. And McDonald's pass is downfield. Caught by Raymond Butler. Out of bounds at the Washington 24-yard line. First down, Trojan. A lot of tools. That is a sensational play. Watch Butler come inside. It's man-for-man -man coverage. And then break out at Grimes, number 46. It's a mismatch. He's the strong safety. Does not have the speed of Butler. And therefore, it's completed fast. A big first down on third and long. McDonald is now five out of 84. Five out of eight for 60 yards. 22 on that play. First down at the Washington 24. Woo! 
White. And Charles runs it right up the middle, ducking in behind Foot and Buddy. Give him six, call it second down and four. John Robinson says that Brad Buddy is the best offensive lineman in America. He's all American last year. This year he's having a great year. White, Brenner, Rakshani all coming out. Hayes is in at tailback. Garcia wide right. Garcia caught the touchdown. They send Hayes now. Out to the right side. And McDonald looking. Gets it off over the middle. The pass complete to Hunter. Hunter fumble. Trojans keep it. Down at the 13-yard line. Brad Buddy, number 71, covers it. That's the type of play you can fully appreciate McDonald's greatness. And I mean greatness. All of his receivers were covered. He scrambled just enough to pick out a delayed Brenner breaking down the middle for the first down. Four minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first half. Southern California leading seven to three. Huskies got on the board first with a 30-yard field goal. Really storming early in the ball game, but USC now beginning to assert itself more and more. And it's that offensive line and that quarterback that are doing it. Bumble! McDonald has to dive on it. Never got away from the center snap in control of the ball. This is the one thing that uh, John Robinson probably didn't expect is the mistakes that they're making close to the Washington goal line. That's the third one. That's the fourth time they've dropped it. Fourth, that's right. They haven't lost any yet, but if you keep dropping them, you will. Ball is just outside the Washington 14-yard line. Second down. put it up he's looking for Garcia nope it's Butler Raymond Butler 86 he had gone deep on the pattern Mark Lee this time did not get beat on the play it's a post corner the toughest thing to defend in football he's going to fake inside go right back for the flag he had the Lee turn to the inside number 19 which puts him at a very much of a disadvantage the ball is on target, but it cannot be controlled right here by Butler. Watch it go right through his hands. 3.20 to play. Time called by the Trojans. USC talking. They lead 7-3 and looking for another one. Introducing the 1980 Chevy Malibu Wagon. I'm going to Walt Disney World. Chevy Malibu Wagon has better gas mileage estimates than many compact cars and room for six. Impressive mileage with a two-way hatch gate and lots of cargo space. Impressive mileage and available hidden storage. A fresh new slice of apple pie called Chevy Malibu. Jill, Jill, come on, honey, Mickey's waiting. Chevy Malibu, America's best-selling wagon. It's raining, Ollie. I can see that. Your wife is sure I'm making a mess. Well, why don't you do something to help me? Oh! <clears throat> Once a year, it makes sense to get yourself a new set of Anko wiper blades. It's simple, quick, and an inexpensive way to see your way clear again. But that's much better, Ollie. Why, thank you, Stanley. <laughs> Next Saturday, first, the classic rivalry. The Ohio State Buckeyes battle the Michigan Wolverines. Then Miami takes on number one Alabama on ABC. All right, USC comes up on third down at about 12. Ball is back between the 14 and 15 of Washington. 3.20 to go in the first half. McDonald back to throw. Gets it off. And the pass is incomplete. Double coverage on the intended receiver, Brenner. And I think Paul was just trying to unload it, really, but he, he didn't throw it quite high enough. <laughs> but they did get a hand on it down in the corner. The receivers were covered, and he very wisely threw the ball out of bounds, as you said, Chief, to set up the field goal rather than an interception. Eric Hip now is in to try for the field goal. He's going to put his tee down back at the 22 or the 21. And it'll be 31 plus. A little more than 31. And from this distance, he's three out of five. On the year, he's four for 11. 
kick is up. Plenty of leg. Looks good, then it is good. As hip drills one. And the USC coaches said he's kicking better now than he's kicked all year. Had a good week of practice, and with 3-10 to play in the first half, the Trojan lead grows to 10-3 over the Washington Huskies. USC has been able to maintain some consistency in its offense here in the second quarter of play. Washington has not. I think it, uh, it's evident here in this first in the first half that Southern Cal has finally solved their pass protection blockers. Keith, uh, they got tackled, sacked two or three times early, but they have not gotten close to McDonald's since. USC held the ball in that possession for 14 plays using five minutes and 24 seconds. That's a lot of time. That's what we'll have for you at halftime. The game was played on the grass field. You see now the depth of that Nebraska ball club. They're deep, strong. Wore out a lot of spirited effort in that third and fourth quarter. Oklahoma continues to roll against Kansas. We're going to have that matchup for you, too, on the 24th. Oklahoma, Nebraska, at Norman. All right, Rob Kerr will kick it off. That's Anthony Allen up at the seventh. And the reserve quarterback brings it up to the 27-yard line where Kenny Moore brings him down for USC. And that's where Washington will go to work. With very little time on the clock. 306. Tulane. Green is tough this year. Georgia Tech winning a ball game today. They haven't had that many wins this year. Look at Indiana. First and 27 yard line, first down, Washington. Trojans lead it 10 to 3. Tom Flick hands to the tailback. Oh, look at Kobe. He's got quick speed. He's about a 9-8 sprinter, and he runs it down to the USC 49-yard line before Herb Ward finally corrals him. Let's watch it again. It's a sensational run by Vince Kobe right here, number 28. Watch his movement as he starts to get hit by Smith, number 49, the safety. He breaks out behind Fisher, missing the tackle. Lot falls down, and... All the way from the right side, Ward makes the tackle. 24-yard gain on the play, 9 for 51 now. For Vince Kobe, the tailback, first down just inside the Trojan 49-yard line. Fullback, Tyler, to the 46. There's the time remaining in the first half. Very gray now as some heavier clouds have moved in. The, the rain, uh, if it comes, will be a blessing because the hydroelectric people up here are very concerned about low reservoirs for the coming winter. But not for the coaches, please. <laughs> no, no. John certainly doesn't want to see it, does he? No. Second down and seven. Flick still got it. Puts it over the middle to the sidelines and complete pass intended for number 91, Aaron Williams. Flick is mad at himself. He had uh, Williams open, would have taken a perfect throw, but he was open. Larry McGrew was in his face. He caused him a little trouble. Matter of fact, he put him on the back <laughs> of his shirt. That has its effect, too. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> believe it. I was a quarterback. <laughs> Ron Gibson is now in at fullback for Washington, number 42. He's a senior from Everett. Double wide left side. Open field side. Third down and seven. Flick getting some heat. And they've got him. Big number 70 is Dennis Edwards. Rolls him backward. And it'll bring up fourth down. That's the first time the Washington quarterback has been hit behind the line of scrimmage and downed. Now the Huskies will have to punt it away. And again, they're using that big 24-yard run by Kobe. They're not able to cash it in with a minute and 25 seconds to play in the first half. Camarillo in to kick it. It's Raymond Butler. Number 86 and Jeff Fisher, number 40. Deep for USC. kick toward Fisher and Jeff calls fair catch and the USC will have the ball first down 
up at the 24. That was only a 29 yard punt timeout. 108 to play first half. Hi, I'm an independent Texaco retailer. Not really, but when I grow up, maybe I'll go into business for myself and run the Texaco station like my daddy does. Make all the decisions, hire my own help, <laughs> set my own prices. The Texaco will help me a lot, but I'll be the boss. Yes? Mama says to come home for dinner right now. Texaco's independent retailers, working to keep your trust. Oh, what did we hear? This Christmas, thrill the kids with an exciting Radio Shack electronic game. Low-cost, fast-action games. There's football, pinball, basketball, golf, baseball, all with electronic sound effects. Challenging games for year-round fun. You caught old Santa. Better shop early. We don't expect them to last long at our low prices. Radio Shack electronic <laughs> games, $19.95 to $29.95. Only at Radio Shack, your Christmas electronic store. <laughs> The 1980 Winter Olympics this February, exclusively on ABC. Can America's Jim Denny win the gold at home? 108 to go in the first half. Southern California, first down at their own 24. They lead 10-3. McDonald to White. And Charles White is close to a first down as he takes it out to the 34. All on just second effort. Hit it the line of scrimmage and would not go down. Washington, unable to maintain offensive consistency. Southern California's offensive front beginning to assert itself with its balance. Time called by the Trojans. They bring the change out to check on just how much they may or may not need for the first down. It's a first down for the Trojans by just that much. USC now with one timeout remaining. McDonald was mad at himself because he didn't realize they were going to take time out to measure and he wasted one of the very valuable timeouts. Tomorrow we'll have college football 79 with Bill Fleming for you. Those are the games that we'll be highlighting. Some good ones. That should be a Burner down LSU, Keith, in the Tiger Den with Alabama. No bear hates to go there. Find out, find out, sir. Find out means how many timeouts do we have left? For one. Sure, that's what he wants to know. Got one. <clears throat> well, you might as well take it. You only got 55 seconds to play here, and you've got with the measurement plus the timeout, you have. A little more time to work with, I guess. But it's not McDonald and Robinson both upset that they spent it there. They didn't really want to. But with Southern Cal, it's not far-fetched to think they can still get another field goal opportunity oh. or possibly a touchdown because Absolutely. they have the resourcefulness to force you to cover the entire width of the field and the depth of the field, the length of the field, every down. First down for the Trojans at their own 34. In a play like this, where they need the big play, they do miss the speed of Kevin Williams. Now you've got Butler and Garcia both wide to the open side. And McDonald looking for him. He puts it in the air for Butler. No, Mark Lee defending. Mark Lee has some quickness. 4-3, he was timed by the Pro Scouts this past spring, and he just backed up, which he should do on a situation such as this and be sure that Butler doesn't get behind him and he didn't. McDonald threw that ball very close to 50 yards and was pretty much on target. Look at there. Texas Tech. You know they want from TCU. Oregon and Stanford even. Here's second down and 10 at the 34. That's Charles White in motion. McDonald and Marcus Allen run together in the backfield and it all goes for naught. Just that little bit of a delay back there was expensive as Rusty Olson, a junior from Spokane, comes in to make the tackle for Washington. And the clock is running. I guess Southern Cal uh, big feels now that they just run the clock out. They're not using their last time out. Surprise Washington, however, doesn't spend some timeouts to force the Trojans to punt if they can. That would give them some degree of opportunity to exercise Mark Lee again. California with a 14-6 lead over Washington State. That's being played over the eastern part of the state today. McDonald pitches to White. Fumbles the ball. 
but gets it back. That's five times they've dropped it and picked it up. All five times. And the first half is over. And Southern California leads Washington 10 to 3. We'll be back with today's halftime activities after this word about an upcoming ABC program and a word from our local station. Sunday is Double Mort Day. Orson hears about this. First, Mindy goes undercover in a strip joint to trap a blackmailer. I love what you're doing with the balloons, darling. I bet you don't have a pet porcupine, huh? And in part two, the law uncovers Mort. You think they'll kick me off the planet? It's a full hour of Mark and Mindy. Then, on the Sunday movie, they call it escort service. Welcome to Romance Central. But it's really a new twist to the world's oldest profession. And even nice girls get trapped in love for rent. Tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. See you in a couple of days. Say, where are you going? For a little ride. Well, it better be a little ride. There isn't a gas station open for miles. Don't even need a full tank. I'm taking my Volkswagen Dash of Diesel. It's the best mileage wagon in America. But how far do you have to go? The other side of my ranch and back. Oh, big deal. How far is that? About 500 miles. Oh. Volkswagen does it again. Right now, there's a special deal for sports fans at McDonald's. Every time you buy a medium-sized soft drink, you get a special Seahawks glass for only 29 cents more. There are four glasses in all, so get the one with your favorite player. Okay, guys, who gets what? Steve Rabel glass. Sam no, I get the Sherman Smith glass. Sorry, guys, take the two yards of soap glass. Oh, oh you're a rookie, crazy, man. Don't give his glass to Sherman's glass. glass. Man. <laughs> this week's Seahawks glass features Bill Gregory, Dennis Boyd, and Manu Tuiasa Sopo. KOMO TV for Seattle. Our halftime score, the Trojans of Southern California leading the Huskies of Washington 10 to 3. And this is how the scoring took place in the first quarter. Mike Lansford, a 30-yard field goal. Washington led it 3 to nothing. In the second quarter, Paul McDonald hit Danny Garcia from 8 yards. Hip's kick was good to make it 7-3. Hip added a 31-yard field goal to make it 10-3 at halftime. Now it is time for Fireman's Fund Flashback, brought to you by Fireman's Fund Insurance. And Fireman's Fund Insurance is brought to you by an independent agent near you. Our studios in New York, Mr. Chris Schenkel, as we are going to consider some of the other happenings in college football today, and in particular, one involving Chris's alma mater, Purdue. Well, the Purdue Boilermakers uh, won the battle today against Michigan, but lost the Big Ten war, it seems. They had some stellar performances by individuals like Bill Kay, who intercepted three passes, recovered one fumble. Ben McCall scored two touchdowns. John Seibel kicked the first field goal of the year for the entire Purdue team. Coach Jim Young finally beat Bo Schembechler 24 to 21. Mark Herman, the Purdue quarterback, the Boilermakers in the dark jerseys, first and goal in the Michigan two, first quarter. Ben McCall scores his first touchdown, seven to nothing. It remained that way at halftime, and then in the third quarter, punter Brian Virgil of Michigan couldn't handle that bad snap from center. Tackled on the 25. Purdue took over, leading 7 to nothing. Second and two in the Michigan 8. Herman to Ben McCall, going 13 yards, moving it to the Michigan 1. Still in the third quarter, first and goal, and Herman calls his own number, number 9, goes over for the second touchdown. Purdue led 14 to nothing. Then later it was Michigan's ball, first and 10 on the Purdue 27. And Butch Woolfolk, a great running back for the Wolverines, took the ball. Moved to the Purdue five-yard line for a 22-yard gain. Second and goal at Purdue six. Michigan and White. Wangler hits Doug Marsh, number 80. A great end for the Wolverines with a six-yard touchdown pass. 14 to six as Michigan failed on the point after. Fourth and one, 10-27 remaining. Quarterback Mark Herman hands off to Ben McCall. 13-yard touchdown scamper. Point after was good, 24-6. Then the Wolverines came on in West Lafayette, ross Aid Stadium. Following a pass interference, Roosevelt Smith plunges in from the one. The two-point conversion try failed. 24-12, Purdue. Second and goal in the Purdue four. Michigan with the ball, and it's Woolfolk. Going in for a four-yard touchdown, 24-19. Then Michigan quarterback John Wangler attempts to pass, but he's dumped by Purdue linebacker James Looney, killing all hopes for a Michigan victory. The final score after an intentional safety, 24-21, Purdue upsets Michigan. You know, if you've ever looked for business insurance, you've found out how important it is to get protection that exactly fits your needs. 
Well, this hat, the symbol of Fireman's Fund Insurance, Electronics, Gigantic Raytheon Company, as well as Tom Hall's Radio and TV. It even helps cover the Chicago Cubs. So for business insurance that's tailor-made for you, along with money-saving loss control programs that really work, make sure you ask your independent agent about Fireman's Fund. Because whether your business is large or small, you'll find this hat is just your size. In the yellow pages, Fireman's Fund Insurance Companies, subsidiaries of American Express. I'm Bill Murray, Executive Director of the American Football Coaches Association. All our coaches strive to maintain high ethical recruiting standards. We want to improve the process through which the high school athlete selects a college. Football coaches spend many hours recruiting student athletes. They are concerned that each athlete and his parents are fully informed as to what is permissible and what type of financial aid can be offered and accepted. The NCAA has a free booklet, The College Bound Student Athlete. It covers the general rules and regulations governing recruiting, eligibility, and financial aid. Athletes and parents should study this booklet, except only what is permissible. For a copy of this booklet, write Recruiting, NCAA Box 1906, Shawnee Mission, Kansas, 66222. The Coaches Association supports eliminating recruiting abuses. The preceding message was furnished by the NCAA. Our score at halftime, Southern California 10 and Washington 3. As Washington led after one period, 3-0, but the Trojans coming back to get 10 points in the second quarter of play. That's where we are in the ball game, being played in Seattle on a dry field. The ball game being brought to you by Chevrolet, who invites you to come see the all-new 1980 Chevrolets at your Chevy dealers. By Nikon, who brings you the new low-cost, fully automatic Nikon EM. Not just a camera, it's a Nikon. By STP Gas Treatment and STP Oil Treatment. And by Radio Shack, your electronic Christmas store with over 5,000 stores and participating dealers nationwide. Right now, let's have a look at the USC campus. This is the University of Southern California, standing proudly on the threshold of its second century. 100 years of academic excellence, private support, and responsible independent education. A century of outstanding men and women, leaders in the arts and the professions. tradition of commitment, a catalyst, not merely a reflection of the vital changes in its community. This is the University of Southern California, proud of its independence, prepared for its future, accepting the challenge of private higher education. The University of Southern California, moving toward Century Two. He came out of Oklahoma. He played in for Bud Wilkinson. He learned uh, part of his coaching trade under Paul Bryant. He came to Washington succeeding Darrell Hoyle. And from 1957 to 1974, Jim Owens won 99 football games as a head coach of the Huskies, lost 82, six ties. Standing alongside of him, Tom Tips and Norm Pollum, who were on his coaching staff at that time, among the players who have gathered for the 1960-61 reunion. Names like George Fleming and Bob Slurette, Don Makita, Norm Dixon, Ben Davidson, Davy Phillips, Kurt Gagner, it goes on and on. And I don't really think that Jim Owens ever really got the credit he deserves for having really been the man that as much as anybody turned West Coast football around because he went in to beat Wisconsin and Minnesota back to back in the Rose Bowl. Now it is time for ABC News Halftime Report. From ABC News in New York, this is the Halftime Report with Barry Serafin. Good afternoon. While those Americans continue to be held hostage in Iran, the White House has taken action aimed at Iranians in this country. Details from George Strait. 
In his first overt action since the takeover of the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, the president today directed the Attorney General to identify any Iranian students in the United States who are not in compliance with the terms of their entry visas and to begin deportation procedures against those found to be in violation. Uh, later this weekend, the Immigration and Naturalization Service will issue a notice requiring that all Iranian students report their present location and status to their nearest INS office. In addition, the Department of Justice will also be checking with universities and colleges across the country, and they'll also be sending out FBI agents to check on the 50,000 Iranian students thought to be here. George Strait, ABC News, the White House. More than half of the Americans being held in Iran have reportedly signed a petition requesting that the United States ask the Shah to leave this country. That report is being viewed skeptically by U.S. officials. Iran's leader, the Ayatollah Khomeini, has rejected a plea by Pope John Paul that the hostages be set free, saying that would be contrary to popular opinion in Iran. More on the hostage situation from Bob Dyke. A view at last of some of the hostages. This film was first transmitted on the state-owned television network tonight here in Iran. The Swedish ambassador went to see them today, along with diplomats from France, Algeria, and Syria. It was a mercy mission, they said, to see how the prisoners were being treated. The diplomats were apparently invited to come by the Iranian students who have occupied the grounds for a week. The Swedish ambassador said he managed to talk to a few of the hostages to ask them how they were bearing up to their confinement. Um, not received any major complaints with regard to, uh, to their health. Uh, of course, they seem tired, which is natural. But uh, our impression is that uh, uh, their uh, health conditions are uh, generally good. Bob Dyke, ABC News, Tehran. This is Barry Dunsmore. Quiet diplomacy continued on a number of fronts today, but it's admitted that for all the toing and froing, nothing which could be described as negotiating is taking place. At an unusual Saturday briefing here at the State Department, the only new element concerned the visits to the compound by additional outside observers. I would note that we are obviously pleased by the increased access by independent observers but to our hostages. We continue to hope that we will be able to speak with them directly. Carter challenged the validity of an alleged petition signed by some of the hostages calling for the Shah's extradition. He also repeated the president's message of yesterday, asking Americans to contain their understandable frustrations. Barry Dunsmore, ABC News, the State Department. The target of the students in Iran, the exiled Shah, was visited today by former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger at the New York hospital where the Shah is being treated for cancer. No details of their conversation were provided. ABC's Doreen Kays reports from Cairo that an aide to the Shah will go to Egypt within the next 10 days. That follows speculation that the former Iranian leader may accept an offer by Egyptian President Sadat to fly him from the U.S. to Egypt. In other news, Alfred Kahn, the administration's chief inflation fighter, said today if Chrysler wants that $1.5 billion government loan guarantee, the company and the United Auto Workers will have to revise their new wage contract. John McWethy reports. Khan says the contract as currently written is outrageous. The UAW Chrysler contract does not remotely approach the kind of sacrifice that I think the directly affected and interested parties have got to demonstrate as a condition for being bailed out by the U.S. government. Does the president agree with this new hard line? Yes, the administration agrees with me. The bill to aid Chrysler is now pending before Congress, and Kahn says the White House will continue to support it. If there are not some changes in the labor contract, though, there is a serious question about whether Carter will sign the bill once it gets to his desk. John McWethy, ABC News, Washington. Rosalind Carter is flying home tonight from Thailand with a report for the president on her trip to see firsthand the plight of refugees from Cambodia. And the Senate has approved and sent to the president a bill already passed by the House authorizing $30 million in aid for the refugees. That's our halftime report. I'm Barry Serafin. More later on the ABC News Weekend Report. The halftime report is a presentation of ABC's World News Tonight. We're back in Seattle at the University of Washington Stadium where the Southern California Trojans hold a 10-3 lead over the Huskies. 
at halftime. Keith Jackson along with Frank Boyles, and we're not dummies. We put on our coats because it was 47 when we started, and it's chilly. Right now, I think a good, tough, competitive ball game. Let's take a look at some of the moments that have had some meaning in the first half of play. And I think one of the most important moments came when Washington put the ball in the air, Flick forced the ball, and Dennis Johnson intercepted it for USC. And it was a sensational play on Johnson's part. He leaps high in the air after turning 360 degrees to find the receiver and then makes an outstanding run. Uh, He's a really a fine football player. Gets the ball for a mini drive, of which McDonald took it on in for the score. USC had the ball first down at the 24-yard line, punched it on down, made a couple of mistakes, but they still were able to overcome it on an eight-yard touchdown play to Danny Garcia. And one of the things that they have had today is they've had Garcia and Raymond Butler in the same neighborhood, and that's a tough neighborhood. It is, Keith. When you get close to the goal line, Washington has been playing man for man, and you, when you single up and have to cover him inside, outside, it, it's a very difficult assignment, and one that uh, actually McDonald looks for. He, he wants this. And Garcia have had a big, big ball game the last time we saw the Trojans against uh, Notre Dame, and he's in for another big day today. But Kevin Williams uh, played very little in the first half. He did make one pass reception, and in the process uh, was rolled down hard by Antoine Richardson on a good, clean tackle and came away with a very deep bruise in his shoulder. He has been x-rayed. There is no shoulder separation nor break that they could find in the x-rays. And he is available just in case they have to have his speed. Yes, and they need him because uh, he has that blinding speed. You can see it on the replay. He falls on his left shoulder, and it's only a bruise. And I know the Southern Cal fans are pleased about that. The Washington defense, we were told, going into the ball game would be in a gambling position. They're sending an eight, nine, ten-man front up there. They've done it. But uh, the difference at the ball game right now, I got to say, is, is this balance that USC has offensively, and their offensive front is now beginning to sort of take command of the ball game. Washington has not been able to put pressure on McDonald in the second half, and McDonald has been able Keith, to hit the third down critical pass. Uh, where a flick from Washington has missed on the third down plays, and that's been the difference in the ball game. So USC getting its 10 points in the second quarter of play and beginning to maintain consistency in ball control and move the football and absorb the time. So we're about ready for the second half of play between the Huskies and the Trojans. of freedom you go for it making the most of now from the life you live to the beer you drink and since 1849 the beer that makes the most out of life is schlitz when you make it here make it this one here schlitz makes it great go for it from the legend that is nikon comes the new nikon em and from the Nikon EM comes hey girl. Molly. This sharp, this clear, every time. Mom, and especially this time. Because the Nikon EM is fully automatic. Get more pictures, it even signals Daddy. if there's not enough light. Is there enough light? Sure, no problem. So you get perfect pictures. And the Nikon EM is so easy to afford. The new Nikon EM, it's not just a camera, it's a Nikon. Want to know four ways to help get better gas mileage? Tell us, Mr. Goodrich. First, air up. Keeping tires at recommended pressure can help save up to a gallon of gas per tank. Next, tune up. That can help save up to two gallons. Wow! Then, clean up. Get new filters. And slow up. You can go farther on a tank full. Keep that great GM feeling. Nice and tight, oh, Mr. Goodrich. With genuine GM parts. Mark Wilson has followed the tradition of outstanding quarterbacks at Brigham Young University. His excellence on the field and in the classroom is typical of what today's student athlete represents. Leadership, dedication, teamwork, a concern for the future. Mark's experience at BYU is an exciting example of college football's role in preparing productive citizens. Football at Brigham Young is an important part of my life. But just the opportunity to participate in sports is more exciting than all the publicity and glory that go along with it. Drugs have become too important in the lives of many young people. If the time and effort wasted on drugs were put into sports participation, many of these confused youth would become happier and more productive. Looking for a challenge? I gave sports a try. Why don't you? Get high on sports, not drugs. 
The preceding message was furnished by the NCAA. Looking at some of the other scores uh, in the Pacific 10 today, Oregon is leading Stanford 10-7 at halftime, and that's a scrappy bunch down at Oregon. They had a week off to heal and get ready for Stanford. Arizona State and the UCLA Bruins even in the second quarter at 3-3, and there are your standings at the top of the Pac-10. And we've had some surprises looking around at other conferences today, with the big one there being Purdue upsetting Michigan 24-21, and I sort of put that upset in quotes. Ohio State won big today over Iowa 34 to 7 and that sets up the Michigan Ohio State game next week in Ann Arbor which you'll see here on most of these ABC stations. We'll have it for you at 1230 Eastern time followed by Alabama Miami as the late game in Alabama tonight is playing down at LSU as Paul Bryant tries for his 100th win in the 70s. Oklahoma won big today. Nebraska had a bit of a tough time with a scrappy bunch from Manhattan Kansas. K-Staters finally succumbing 21 to 12. And obviously that sets up Oklahoma, Nebraska showdown November 24 out of Norman. We'll have it for you. Here's the second half of the Washington Southern California game. The kickoff goes deep into the end zone. It is dropped there by Willis Ray Mackey, who is a freshman out of Luling, Texas. And they'll bring it back to the 20-yard line where Washington will have the first offensive possession starting the second half of play. Time I see that Luling, Texas. I wonder how in the world Mackey got away from Bill Yeoman. Washington offensive backfield will be Tom Flick at quarterback, Kobe the tailback, Tyler at full, Scancy and Williams. And uh, we've got a penalty flag that was thrown on the sidelines, and now they're going to bring it back upfield and call uh, USC offside and re kick it. The snakes in the kicking game make a difference. Sanford Foreman, Trenier. Shavira, Van Devere, and Bale, the offensive front for the Washington Huskies. 10 to 3 ball game as we start the second half of play. Keith Washington has returned two kickoffs this year for touchdowns, one 95 yards and one 99 yards. USC cheerleaders are here. Art Bartner has brought a portion of the Trojan band. Uh, they did not march at halftime because they only have, looks like, 40 or 50 people. But they're whooping it up and down in the corner of the end zone. Their team leading. USC has come out in the second half. They put on gloves because the temperature is getting down around the low 40s, I would think. This time, the kickoff hangs up there and goes to Anthony Allen. Penalty flag thrown as Allen brings the ball back out to the 31 yard line. Like Don Jones was the man that got in there to make the tackle on him, make it the 32 yard line. Let's see about the flag. It looks like a clip call against Washington. Well, that's a tough way to start the second half. So definitely don't want it quite a Keith on your 15, 16 yard line. The defensive front for the University of Southern California, Myron Lapka, big guy, 245 out of Chatsworth. Ty Sperling is a 235 at the nose guard, and Dennis Edwards, 225 at a tackle. Larry McGrew, an outside linebacker at 220. Dennis Johnson, who had that big play in the first half, 230. Ricky Gray, 225 sophomore. And Eric Scoggin, 6'3", 220. He's sharing time there with Byron Darby. Darby playing more, really, in the ball game than Scoggin. The ball is put back at the 13-yard line of Washington, where it is first down and 25. Play goes up the middle, up across the 15 to the 17-yard line, with Ron uh, Toussaint Tyler carrying the football. The defensive secondary for Southern California is number 23, Herb Ward, number 40, Jeff Fisher. Ronnie Lott, number 42, who's been able to control Skanja pretty well, particularly in the second quarter. Dennis Smith. Number 49. Second and five. Second down. Uh, let's call it the 17 yard line. The gain was from the 13 for four, four and a half yards. Ball goes to the second man, Kobe. Kobe caught by McGrew, and down he goes for a loss on the play of about a yard. So that'll bring up third down, and that they'll need Kobe. a good long six for this one. Third down has been uh, Washington's no problem. They have not been successful in the first half hitting the third down pass to keep their drive going. Their passes that they did complete, Keith, as we know, said earlier, were on running downs after a play action fake. 
Paul McDonald shaking himself loose, anticipating return to the ball game. Third down six for Washington. Otherwise, they're going to have to kick it out of there into the field and give USC good field position. Ball is handed off to Kobe, the tailback, trying to get to the outside. He won't do it. He's down inside the 15-yard line, brought down by Ronnie Lott. And now USC will get the ball, and they're almost sure, unless they mishandle it, to get it with good field position. The temper of the game at the very beginning belonged, of course, to Washington, playing in their home field. But the strength of USC steadily taking its impact. And Camarillo will punt it with Butler deep to return it. Spins it upfield. Butler waves fair catch and makes the catch at the 48-yard line of Washington. It was a 34-yard punt. And so here's USC now. We'll start their first offensive possession on the Washington end of the field. Kevin Williams obviously is, uh, at least I don't think he is, and he is not out there on the field. But all those other people are. Butler is the man wide to the right side. From the 48 of Washington. Ball goes to Charles White, who breaks it up the middle. One step and he was gone for six. He runs the football all the way down to the 26 yard line of Washington. And again, you always, when you see success for the USC tailback, almost inevitably you will find the USC fullback right in front of him. And see number 33? That's what got Charlie going. And of course, Marcus Allen is not big for a fullback, uh, but he has the quickness and he ties up the defensive man momentarily just enough to allow White to break in the secondary for the big game. It could be that Marcus Allen will move to the tailback spot next year. Quite a prep career behind him. This time, Marcus gets the ball and he slashes right up the middle, so they were able to take Stafford Mays right out of that nose guard position one more time and get big yardage. Moving it from the 26 to the 19. Here's Kevin Williams back into the ball game. So Kevin, who suffered a deep shoulder bruise in the first half of play, returns. Second, and three on the 19. Second down and three. The ball is at the 19. White now has run for 102 yards in this ball game on 19 carries. McDonald looking to throw. Puts it in the air, the pass to Williams, touchdown USC! Little Kevin Williams got behind Lance Todale. What a career Williams has had. With that touchdown reception, Kevin has tied the USC record of 20 touchdowns in his career with Hal Betzel. And there's about a two foot difference between the two. Kevin's about 5'8", and Hal was a great big horse. You see him in man for man, and that's a mismatch. Yeah. I think that McDonald uh, will tell you that he'd like to see the team play man for man every down because of the receivers that he has in Williams and Butler and Garcia. They have to California strikes quickly to lead 17 to 3 over Washington. We took your favorite full size car, the new Chevrolet, and made it right for the 80s in Chevrolet's kind of way. Introducing the newest technology in Caprice and Impala with EPA estimates that mean you can go farther on a gallon of gas, farther on a tank of gas, than any full size Chevrolet ever. We made it right for the 80s, right for you. We made it right for the 80s. It's a new, new Chevrolet. You don't need a haircut, Mr. Reed. You need Brill Cream. Brill Cream? Sure. Your hair is short enough, but it's a mess. It sure is. Brill Cream, so concentrated, just a little dab, keeps my hair healthy looking and in control all day. Watch. Without Brill Cream, hair's out of control. With Brill Cream, hair stays in control. Try a little dab. See? Terrific, huh? You're right. With Brill Cream, a little dab will do you. Out 
I would be surprised if Kevin plays any more today, but then I was kind of surprised to see him come back for that one play. But in that one play, he put his name in the USC history books. It's amazing how many touchdowns this young man has caught in comparison to the number of receptions, something like 33 percent, eight out of 22, eight out of 23. So the Trojans lead by a score of 17 to three. The man who really ignited that touchdown march was Charles White, who has gone over 100 yards for the 29th time in his career. And the kick by Rob Kerr is in the air and bouncing deep into the end zone. And the Huskies will down it there and bring it out to the 20-yard line. One more look now at the SC touchdown. In man-for-man -man coverage, it means that uh, Fodale has got to cover Williams all over the field, inside, outside. And it's a really an impossible task if you give the quarterback that much time. And McDonald had plenty of time to wait until Williams defeated him deep for the touchdown. So now Washington, which has not been able to maintain any offense since the early going of the ball game, comes out with their same offensive group. And Tom Flick, the quarterback, wants to put it up, and he does, throwing to his fullback, Tyler. But it is incomplete, and he had some pressure from Byron Derby, 94, and Myron Lapka, number 96. He's now 6 out of 11 for 51 yards. ABC News presents 2020, a special edition. Monday night's lineup includes a report by Geraldo Rivera at the business of being a child star. We'll also have a report on teenage pregnancy. That's ABC's 2020, Monday at 8 Eastern and 7 Central Time. Second down and 10 from the 20. Flick gets his pass off deep. And Williams is there. Aaron Williams makes a sensational catch between two Trojan defenders all the way down at the Southern California 34-yard line. He got right in between Dennis Smith and Jeff Fisher and just made a heck of a play. Outstanding effort by <coughs> Flick, the quarterback. He dodges Edwards, number 70, and just throws it as far as he can. Watch Williams come, protect his body from the ball, from the defenders. Good concentration and complete pass, something they needed. And he's just the freshman, Aaron Williams, number 91. 46 yards on that play, and it's first down at the Trojan 34. Third quarter of play, Kobe the tailback. And Kobe turns it upfield. Dennis Johnson, number 56, brings him down at the 28th of USC. Gain of six, second and four coming up. Good movement by the left side of the Washington line. Gave uh, Kobe a little running room. He cut back inside and behind pursuit. Scansi to the open side of the field, running out of your picture there. Williams to the bottom of the picture wide. Flick still got it. Going deep with it for Scancy. He's got it at the two-yard line. He got away from Herb Ward. First down and goal to go. Washington on the Trojan two. Let's watch it again. It's an out and up pattern. And you can see the pump. That is to fool the defensive back, and it does. But watch the concentration by this young freshman, Paul Scancy. Let's watch the isolation. He's going to go out in the flat. The quarterback pumps the ball, lays it up for Scancy to run under it, but watch the concentration. Both feet coming down in bounds for the big point. They put it at the one-yard line. 27-yard pickup. And the Huskers trying to get back in this ball game. Kobe, penalty flag. Kobe short of the goal line. Watch the penalty. Keith, one thing that you have to worry about is putting a man in much motion on the one-yard line. Sometimes you'll make the mistake. Other times, in Southern Cal will make the mistake. USC was offside. That's what drew the penalty flag. So they'll move it a little bit closer to the goal line. This drive started at the 20-yard line of Washington. Two big pass plays by Flick. One to Williams, a freshman, and one to Scansley, another freshman. Both wide receivers for Washington that started or out of this ball game injured. 
Keith Richardson and Ron Blacken are the two wide men that they replace. Ball is about, oh, I wouldn't say more than a foot away from the goal line. First down and goal to go for Washington. 17 to 3 ball game. Flick. Keeps it. Touchdown. side of the field John Robinson on the other side of the field 80 yards in five plays if there is a place to attack USC it is in the secondary the kick is up hooked it sharply to the left but he keeps it inside the goal post that is 68 consecutive extra points by Mike Lensford if keeping up with your car is getting you down fight back with STP. STP gas treatment fights to keep your carburetor clean, and that can help keep your engine running like it ought to. Try STP. Tom Flick, who has just directed Washington right back into the hunt. 17 to 10 ball game. The Huskies will kick off. Raymond Butler is the middleman and deep for Southern California. It is Butler. was caught up at the 17-yard line. Ken Driscoll, number 40, holding the middle position there to get him. Well, let's see what sort of a, in, an effect, an impact this has. And suddenly, boom, boom, and the Huskies put a touchdown on the board. And they thought they'd have to throw deep, and that would be their best chance, and they did on that drive twice. Call at the 18-yard line. USC. McDonald to White. White bouncing to the outside, and Charles runs well. Gets up to the 24-yard line for six yards before Derek Harvey, a freshman out of Elkins Park, Pennsylvania, shoves him out of bounds. He's done hit quick, didn't he? Yes, they did. One minute and 46 seconds, 80 yards. That fires your team up and your fans and gets the momentum in your favor. They need to stop Southern Cal right here, forcing the punt. Second down and four for the Trojans from the 24. Allen. Marcus Allen bounces off the stack over to the left side and gets a couple of three yards out of it. The Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys will have at it on ABC's presentation of NFL Monday Night Football next Monday. The Eagles are second in the NFC East. Dallas leads. Big opportunity for Dick Vermeil's green shirts from Philly. Third down. Need about two. White. Didn't get it. Rusty Olson, number 64, down in that stack wearing a purple shirt, was a key man on the hit. Antoine Richardson, 48, was also down in there. All depends upon the spot. Don't think he made it. I have a, well, the Trojans, obviously, Paul McDonald comes over instantly and says, well, let's just bring the chain out here and see. It's close. By golly, I think he made it by an inch. He did. That's about as close a measurement as you're ever going to get. It's a it's game of itches. That's right. As that illustrates. And that linesman is so important in making a call. So by your thumbnail, the Trojans keep the ball. First down. White. Oh, 
Oh, he's tough. He's up to the 33, maybe the 34. Richardson, 48, getting up. Jerry McLean, 47 for the Huskies. And Charles White. Here comes now Kevin Williams back. 115 yards, Frank. Much better game than he had last year when he rushed for less than 50. Williams lines up in the slot on the left side. Top of the picture. Now Kevin comes in motion. McDonald gives it to Marcus Allen. Breaks it big. And goes across midfield to the Washington 48-yard line. And here again is a perfect example of the balance of USC. But again, I go always go back to the big horses of the I knew you were. Boy, and you can see the whole goodness gracious. What a great job. Buddy and Foot the center did. Number 33, Allen was a quarterback in high school. Played tailback as a freshman. Let's watch. Let's watch Foot, number 62, blocking Mays, number 58, controls him perfectly and opens up the hole. And the Trojans have a first down, just short of the Washington 48-yard line. It's Charles White with the ball. And he's shoved out of bounds by Harvey at the Washington 41. All of a sudden, you begin to see the strength of this Trojan team again. They have all of the weapons, Keith. We talked about this at Notre Dame when they made 29 first downs, passing and running against a fine Notre Dame football team. But they have the best mixture of running and passing that I've seen in college football in my coaching career 30 years. Frank's got a book out, incidentally, folks, called Hogwarts. You have to read it. 41-yard line. Second down, two. McDonald. Unloads it to Charles White. Lance Todale slows him down, and then he finally drops him down at the 41-yard line. So it'll be third down and about two and a half yards. Billy Sims today, rather sizable day. Billy had a touchdown. He's been leading the nation in scoring. Third down and about two. Kevin Scanlon of Arkansas has had an outstanding year, Keith. Just outstanding. Razorbacks still very much in the major bowl hunt with that win. Third and two for the Trojans. Flag down. Official stop it. Procedure or too much time? Which? Too much time. Too much time. That's the penalty that you risk when you use all of the shifting and motion. But it's so effective that it's worth the penalty occasionally to force the defense to make so many changes after they line up uh, in a certain defense. In penalties today, the Trojans have been flagged five times for 20 yards, Washington four times for 31 yards. 6.55 to go, third quarter, 17-10, USC. On third and seven. McDonald puts it up over the middle. Wow! Off the hands of Raymond Butler, and he was lonesome. <laughs> but he drives number 46. Keith was coming at 180 degrees. Let's watch it again, and you can see Butler take his eyes off the ball. Right here, I believe you can. You see him? He, here comes Grimes, 46. He was trying to stop and control it before Grimes hit it. So hoofbeats had something to do with that one. <laughs> I don't blame you. Prior to punt. Some pressure. Kick is away. Good looking kick. Fair catch is called and fair catch is made by Todale back at the 10 yard line. That was a 35 yard punt but it's not distance in this circumstance that's so important it's where he put it and Washington's going to have to pick up the ball and go at it from their own 11 yard line. Well, Gustavus Adolphus danced on McAllister now. The Fighting Scots lost 50 in a row. But so what? Oh, boy. They're playing the game. And if the young people up there want to play the game. From the 11. Flick gives it to Tucson Tyler, the fullback, and a pretty good hole over the right side. Tyler runs it out to the 18-yard line. Lott makes the tackle. He was in behind Vanderveer and Shavero that time. 
Good first down charge by the Washington offensive line. Gave Kyle a good running room and sets up a possible first down and moving out of the ball out of danger territory. From the 11 to the 18, for seven, second down and three. again this time there isn't much there give him a yard number 35 on top of the stack is Ricky Gray and number 63 is down in the bottom that's Ty Sperling football is at the 19 it'll be third down and two crucial two yards for Washington they have a little momentum they get a first down here they have a little more breathing room Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I thought they were a little liberal with Charles White earlier. Now let's see whether or not Kobe gets the same sort of a break as he was trying to ram it ahead with Edwards and Sperling trying to lock him down. And that's a lot of muscle to be trying to run over. He didn't get the break, uh, Keith. It appears to me from here that this official spot is foot short of the first day. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, does it? Give credit to the uh, Southern Cal defense. Second and two, and two straight ahead plunges. No first down. They don't have it here. It's that much. Short of foot. Hard down. Well, what do you do? You're going to have to kick it away, huh? No time to gamble. No time to gamble. Seven points behind. Anything can happen yet. And will, probably. 5-17 to play in the third quarter. Camarillo on four punts, averaging just under 40 yards. Raymond Butler has not had a chance to turn it loose today, and he's a very dangerous punt returner himself. Second in the nation. Right. Kicks away, and it's a good high, high hanger. And Butler is forced into a fair catch. Back at the USC 44 yard line, 43 yard line, 37 yard punt, 4.53 to go third quarter. The Trojans lead by seven. We'll be right back. Some mother mad at me. First down from the 44 yard line of USC, Charles White. Ball comes loose. They're going to have to stretch around to find the bottom of it. Ball was stripped as Charles cleared the line of scrimmage. Charles Yes, sir. Washington comes up with the ball. Chris Lennon, number 61, comes out of there with it. That is the sixth time USC has put the ball on the ground, but it's the first time they've lost it. Keith, that's what we call a takeaway. It was a good lick. Uh, one of the linebackers. Let's see if we can spot which player knocked the ball loose. Number 12, White. White off tackle. Now, somebody really stuck a head yeah. in there. Gabe was outside. Right. I believe it was Kent, number 18. Here's Washington now. First down at the Southern California 47-yard line. A 17 to 10 ball game with 4:42 to go in the third quarter. Flick. Trying to cash it in quickly. Throws complete to Skensi. And he tumbles out of bounds at the 42. That's a gain of five. Boy, that is a good-looking freshman receiver. Isn't he? Tell you, Keith, he's got great awareness. He runs the route wherever the open spot he is, just like you would expect from a senior. He's from Gig Harbor, which is a pretty little place. Not so little, I guess, anymore. Second down and five at the 42. Flick gets his pass off. It is complete. Caught by Williams. Aaron Williams, the other freshman wide receiver, had gone down. Curl back. Dennis Edwards, number 70, was right in the face of Flick. Let's watch it again. And Flick has to throw the ball before Williams is ready to receive it. Let's watch 70. Edwards right on top of him, and 
Williams has not turned around. Now he's coming back to the ball for the first down. Ward number 23 was covering. At the SC 36 yard line. Hold back Tyler. Nothing there, maybe a yard. They'll get him down close to the 35. He ran into Byron Darby, a 225 pound freshman out of Inglewood, California. He's playing his first game as a linebacker. He's played defensive tackle all year. They moved him the linebacker on Tuesday, and he's playing in this big, important ball game. That's a real athlete. They lead that ball right at the 36, second down to 10. Lex going to put it up. squirts out of his hands as he goes out of bounds with George Achika, number 78, doing the job on him. It was Darby that ran him out of his uh, position, though, and made him run. Don James, who came here, get state. Third and long again, Keith, which puts the pressure right on Flake, quarterback of Washington. Ball is marked at the 33-yard line of USC. Third and seven. Over the middle, incomplete. Intended for Scancy, it was Don Jones, number 11, coming across a junior out of Los Angeles that batted away. A sensational effort because Scancy was in motion and he was open. But uh, Jones up in front of the pattern gets his hands on. Let's watch Jones, number 11, jump, turn back, and deflects the ball. You can see Scansy, number 94, was open, had a step on Ward, number 23. A 50-yard field goal try coming up by Mike Lansford. His longest, 49 yards. He hits it, he hooks it, and it's no good. Not even close. And so USC will come out and get the football first down at their own 33-yard line with two minutes and 50 seconds to play in the third quarter. Well, the Huskies look like they might have something going there off Charlie White's fumble, but the Trojan defense has been getting tougher and tougher and tougher. White has it. Oh, look out! Charles White, who is going for a ton today, is out of bounds at the Washington 39-yard line, 28 yards on that particular carry, 25 carries and 153 yards for Charles. Give credit to Hobie Brenner, the tight end, who makes a sensational block. Let's see if we can pick it up. And you can see that Brenner has got the inside wall off. A big gap for White. No cornerback or safety in the picture until Lee comes from the other side. Charles White has run for 150 yards plus 19 times in his career. This time Marcus Allen carries. And from the 39, he's got a couple to the 37. Marcus Allen picked up two. The pressure that Southern Cal puts on a defense is just insurmountable by any team in college football today, in my opinion, when they've got it all going for them like they do today. It's tough. 2.20 to go, third quarter. Side to White. This time the Huskies play him well. Number 73, Doug Martin, the first purple shirt out there. And he kept running Charlie into the sidelines, and they get him after a short game, and that's what we have for you next Saturday here on ABC. Keith Miami upset Penn State two weeks ago, last week, 26 to 10, and they have come back with a 5-4 record right now. How would you like to play Penn State, Alabama, Notre Dame all in a row? Huh? Well, Florida State, I guess. Wild the athletic. Florida. Charles White goes in motion. McDonald looking for Garcia. Got it. Out of bounds. Washington, 18-yard line. First down, Trojan. How calm and cool and collective can a quarterback be? Let's watch uh, Garcia run in and out. 
tough pattern that uh, has to be thrown before he breaks to the outside. The ball is on its way. Garcia, 26, wide open, good concentration, completes the ball the first down. From the 18. Looks for Williams, throws to Garcia, penalty flag down. Danny is dropped at the nine-yard line. Wait for the flag. Looked like the umpire threw it. Indicates offensive holding most of the time, Keith, as you and I both know. Yep. Big mistake. Big, big mistake. I know that John Robinson is very disappointed in the mistakes that Southern Cal has made, particularly close to the goal line in the first half and on this occasion. 15-yard penalties are tough to make up this end of the field. But if anybody can, yep, I have to say Garcia, Williams, and Butler in front of four exceptionally talented receivers. The ball comes all the way back out to the 38-yard line. They've got to go to the eight to get their first down. It's White. Charles gets outside and runs it to just about the 30. The crowd today estimated 61,000. They're going to count the tickets on Monday to get the actual count on it, but 61,000 is a new attendance record for this old stadium. Goodness knows I've sat here many a Saturday afternoon and worked how many years did you call the Husky game? Well, I was here. I lived in Seattle 10 years, and I guess every every time I was out here, something was going on. <laughs> Second down from just outside the 30. McDonald dropping back, looking downfield, goes to the short man Brenner, and Hobie makes the catch and takes it out of bounds at the Washington 18-yard line. He looked deep. Kevin Williams pretty well hidden down among the purple shirts down there as Todale had him well covered. So he just calmly drops it off to Hobie Brenner. Brenner's crossing pattern, and uh, when you're defending deep, he's open coming and cross. Watch the concentration. He controls it with a 360 degree turn. Finally, pinch number 18 makes the play. Third and 10 from the 18. McDonald swings it out to White. White. Going to be stopped short of the first down, but it didn't come easy. It took three Huskies to get him out of bounds on the 15-yard line. He is an incredible football player. An incredible football player. Fourth down coming up. And you would obviously expect Eric Hip and the kicking tee on the field, and that's what we've got. He's going to put it down on the 22-yard line. And he'll hit it from the hash mark. It'll be a 32-yard attempt. He kicked the 31-yarder earlier, trying to make it a 20 to 10 ball. Game block! It is blocked! Tim Gardner blocked it coming from the outside. And Washington has the ball out at the 37-yard line. Those de defensive special teams have had a sensational year, and that's the first big play they've given to the Washington team in this game. Well, what a big one it was. Let's watch it again. See if we can detect exactly where. No. Ken Gardner, number 29, as we called it, the man who blocked the, uh, the field goal try. And here is Washington now, first down at the 37. 111 to play in the third quarter. A lot of time. Flick. Shoots it. Oh, what an incredible effort by Aaron Williams. My gosh, I have never seen a greater effort in my life than that kid tried to pull off right there. And Williams is just a freshman, number 91, crossing pattern off of a bootleg fake, wide open. The ball is a little bit high, and he can't quite control it, but watch this effort. He just hangs in there like a basketball player. Hold on, but he's knocked out when his left shoulder hits the ground. He must have been five feet in the air and couldn't hold on. So it's second down and 10. And off the corner. 
Kobe. Tosh Sperling, 63, was right there, and so is Myron Lepka and Ricky Gray. There's the young man that blocked the field goal drive, Ken Gardner. He became inside the up back, which is a really a cardinal error by Southern Cal. The up back shouldn't let anybody come inside of him, but Gardner made a great effort and blocked the field goal. Coming up on a half minute to go in the third quarter. It is third down and nine from the 38 for the Huskies. to Williams, he gets away. He's got the first down and then some. He's all the way down to the Southern California 34-yard line. He got away from Dennis Smith. Boy, these two kids are exciting. <laughs> I'll tell you. It was a perfect throw because it allowed Williams to come back to the ball and therefore get away from Smith. Watch him run with it after he makes the first down. He's 5'11", 167 pounds, a freshman out of Tacoma. Let's watch him come back to the ball. Good receivers come back to the ball. Makes it tougher to break up by the defensive back. 29 yards, Williams, four catches, 94 yards. First down at the SC 34-yard line. Flick throws it, complete to Bale. Bale goes inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line. For another Washington first down. Six seconds to play in the third quarter. Let's watch it again. Perfect timing on the play. The tight end is open momentarily inside the cornerback. The ball is right on target before I guess uh, Ronnie Lott. Lott, number 42, brings him down. Hey, time runs out. After three quarters, 17 to 10. We'll be back after this message from one of our sponsors and station identification. As we go to the final quarter of play, a comparison of the two quarterbacks. And you can see the edge belongs to Flick, but then he's been without the running support of McDonald. The ball is at the 18-yard line of Southern California, first down, and Flick rolls it out and takes it upfield, and he's going to lose a yard on it as Dennis Edwards would not let him get away. Third quarter stats. The offenses have picked up a little bit, Keith, in the third quarter. 295 yards total offense for Southern Cal, 265 for Washington. But Tom Flick has passed for 128 yards in the third quarter, which is the difference in this uh, statistics this half. Second down, 11 from the 19. in the air the pass is caught by Scancy and he is down at the Southern California 12 yard line young man has got excellent concentration he was about to be hit by Ward 23 and he controlled the ball very easily he's caught five for 57 yards in the ball game it will be third down for Washington and four there are what those two freshmen receivers have done today Southern Cal has taken their linebackers out and put an extra defensive back in the game. Flick looking. Throws it. Pass caught. And touchdown, Spencer. again and I want to show you something Frank when it comes because uh, the two freshman wide receivers were both involved as I as saw it you're as talking as about Williams is blocked right. Williams is blocked coming across free scans to go in for the touchdown just a senior type play 17 17 tie as Lansford now has hit 69 consecutive points after now let's look for 91 in this and see what he does uh, Williams is coming from the right but watch uh, Flick wait 
till he can hit Scanzi coming inside, then coming from the right, right there. You see number 91, another freshman clearing the path for Scanzi number 94. And with 13 minutes and 29 seconds to play in the ball game, we're all even another look at it. Same type of delayed pattern where the defensive back was screened off. Now you see the block again by Williams. Scanzi is for the touchdown. And every time I see something like this going on, I always say it, and I guess I never should, but they said freshmen couldn't play. Freshmen can play, believe me. <laughs> Everybody recognizes that fact today. The high school coaches have just do a tremendous job getting them ready. Lansford kicks it off. Raymond Butler in the end zone, two yards deep, says, no, thank you. We'll take it at the 20. 17-17, and would you believe the sun has shown up for the first time today. But by now, it's down so far on the horizon, it's only a little piece of it's going to reflect onto the playing surface. I don't know of a quarterback I'd rather have than McDonald in a situation like this. No, He's sir. so calm and cool. All right, let's see what Paul can do as he lines up with Allen and White behind him. Give it to Marcus Allen. And three yards to the 23. Chris Lennon, 249-pounder from Arcadia, California, makes the stop for Washington. Southern Cal doesn't want to take a lot of chances, but with their type quarterback and passing attack, they can always dump it off to a back behind the line if the receivers are covered. He doesn't have to force it. Can you imagine what kind of a party those Rose Bowlers will have tonight if the Huskies pull off the upset? Mm. Second down, six from the 24. Where they mark the progress, and McDonald ready to throw it. Swings it out, the pass is incomplete. He tried to hit Charles White. Antoine Richardson was out there in the area, and it forced Paul to throw the ball a little farther ahead of Charles than he wanted to. So it'll be third down and six. Momentum is definitely with Washington. You can see how they line up in the huddle for their defense, and you can see Southern Cal kind of groping back to the huddle. Man, a little bit shaken right now. Garcia and Butler both on the left side. Here's that swing. Man coming out of the backfield, and it's good for the first down up to the 32-yard line. Now, the fullback over the years at USC has generally been a very efficient blocker, but also a very good pass receiver. And uh, again, a reminder that USC wins today and beats UCLA on the 24th. They go to the Rose Bowl. But if Washington should pull off the win today, it's going to take some time for ultimate determination because that decision is yet final over at Arizona State on whether or not forfeiture might be involved regarding eligibility. Here's Charles White. Charles White runs it all the way down to the Washington 38-yard line. The Trojans running on the sideline yelling for face mask as Richardson finally got a hold of White. Looked like he did grab Charles by the face mask. Partially, at least. Richardson is shaken on the play and down on the field. And White now Gains 29 yards on that carry. He has run the ball 28 times today, and White has gained 191 yards. Watch the sweep again. He cuts inside of the pursuit, back behind, but watch it make Harvey, 20, number three, miss him. Just shucks him off with his shoulders. How strong is this young man who weighs only 190 pounds? And you can see 48 Richardson grab his face mask because his head comes back over but the well, official probably was blocked out. Looked like a face mask, didn't it, you, Keith? Yeah, it did. It's conceivable he could have grabbed the corner of the helmet. Whatever, Charles was all right. It is Richardson who is down on the field. That was a very key, crucial run by Mr. Charles White. But how many has he, how many times has he done it? Well, he's uh, looking at 200 uh, yards probably today, and there are the numbers on him. You can see it's just incredible. 29 times he's run over 100 yards in the ballgame. Let's watch it again, see if it's a face mask. 
it looks like the hand grabs the face mask. It doesn't. It, we can't tell. He may have the helmet, as you said, Keith. Yeah, looks like it's the yeah. top of the helmet. Well, this the official was pretty off. close to it. Yeah, he should have been able to see it. But then we had one pretty close to it last week in the Arizona State Stanford game, and one not Richardson Richardson leaves the ball game, walking off as you see. David Clawson will come in. He's a sophomore out of Seattle, but Antoine Richardson is a good football player, and uh, if he's out very long, the Huskies are going to miss him. We're all even at 17 and 17 with 12 minutes and 32 seconds to play in the football game. This drive started on Southern Cal's 20-yard line. From the 39. White. Oh, he goes. He's gone. Mark Lee is the only man. And Charles trying to cut slides down at the 13-yard line. Look at the right side of the line. Buddy, Van Horn, foot. And That's watch 71 particularly. Buddy pulls to the right, number 71. Watch him cut back inside and block Harvey, the best linebacker of Washington, number 55. And then it springs quite clear into the secondary. Harvey, number three, misses him for a short gain. Finally, Lee knocks him out of bounds, number 19. Just inside the 13-yard line. And time called on the field with 12.01 to play in the football game. We're all even at 17. Bob Kerr kicks it off. It's a low spinning kick that wobbles around, and it's picked up and brought back to the 30-yard line, and the man who picked it up for the Washington Huskers is number 41. I'll tell you who he is just as soon as I find out. Lance Nybauer, tight end. Keith, that was some drive by Southern Cal from their own 20-yard line just after the score of tying the game by Washington. That's what champions are made of, teams like this. From the 29 is where they put him down. Huskies first down. Toby, the tailback, gets to the outside. Whoa, look at this. Southern California 19-yard line. Larry McGrew, the man that stopped him. That was his final individual effort by Colby. As you'll ever want to see, watch him right here. He gets missed by left to number 96. Then he sidestepped Fisher, number 40. 35, Gray misses him. And finally, 57, McGrew makes the stop saving a touchdown. Herb Ward had an angle on him and would have been able to get him probably before he got to the end zone. That run 47 yards and Kobe now 15 carries. He's gained 104 yards in the ball game and Washington has it first down at the Southern California 19 yard line. Reverse it and oh how do you do. Williams coming around runs right into Ronnie Lott who was supporting coming from the blind side and Williams just ran right into Lott's arm. How lucky can Southern Cal be. They had the safety blitz coming from the wide side of the field uh, where the reverse was going to end up and a big loss. Now Flick has really got to make a sensational play to get him back in the ball. Ronnie yeah. coming in there saying oh look what I found. <laughs> Down he went. Ball is back at the 27-yard line. Second down, 18. Flick gets his pass off. Pass is complete. And Williams goes to the 10-yard line. Close to a first down. Well, that's a tough pattern, Frank. Yes, it is. Three men out to the left, and they're just crisscrossing. But the poise of Flick, watch it. Just, just watch it. Finally, Williams, number 91, breaks underneath. There he, you can see it again. He goes, go down. Going to come back across, looking back towards the passer, number 91, just a freshman, as we've said before. What a play. And it's third down and one from the 10 for the first down. Kobe and 
Jacoby is hit by Lott, so Ronnie Lott has come up with two big plays defensively for Southern California. I bet they wish they'd ran, run the quarterback sneak. Safety blitz, unblocked, it's 42 Lott coming from the right corner of your screen. No one assigned to him. Good call by the defensive staff. Southern Cal. Ball is on the 13-yard line instead of being one yard for the first down. It is now fourth down, and they've got four to travel. Four yards. Too much time. I bet you. Yep. Good call. He was trying to change the play. Flick was at the line of scrimmage. It just took too long. That'll make it fourth down and nine. What a turnaround. I believe, I believe I'd go for the field goal. Uh, Keith, and uh, you got eight minutes left. Well, they're not going to do it. Well, they've had success on these turn-in patterns by both Williams and Scancy. They got Kobe now. Go in motion. They got all three of them: Kobe, Scancy, Williams, all on the right side of the field. Flick getting some pressure, gets his pass off. The pass is incomplete, intended for Scancy, and covering on the play for Southern California, doing a good job of it. He hasn't turned so I can see his number. I couldn't exactly tell who it is. Let's watch it again. It's a three-man pattern to the left. Uh, Scans is going to try to break outside in behind Smith. Smith, number 49. See the ball. And of course, Flick had a rush on him. Actually, Scansing uh, hit his hands, didn't he? Yep. Oh, he's broken hearted. He stepped inside of Lepka that time to get his pass off under some pressure and so USC holds and they get the football first down at the 18 yard line Charles White runs it out to the 20 still plenty of time if the defense can force the punt which they gonna have a hard time doing with McDonald tossing the ball out on passes and White running up the middle the threat Keith as we've said of the pass and the run puts the pressure on the defense Field goal, well, a 24 21 ball game. Uh, 24 20 ball game would have made it a whole different thing, wouldn't it? Yes. White. And Charles White breaks for what appears to be the first down as he gets to the 28 yard line with Mark Giroux and Chris Lennon making the tackle. How many times do we have to say it, but Brad Buddy, the All-American offensive guard, pulling out, leading on the play, makes the key block that springs White into the secondary for the first down. Time very shortly becomes a definite ally of Southern California. The clock runs now at 7.40 to play in the game. Trojans first down at the 28. That surprises you because Five, Southern ten, Cal uh, is moving the men Let's around. Keep Van Horn to jump on it. Number 68. Number 68. Oh. That backs him up five to make it first down and 15. The ball has moved back to the 23-yard line. Charles White now 32 carries, 230 yards. His career best was the 44 against Notre Dame for 261. White's got it again. And caught from behind by number 38, Mark Stewart, a freshman out of San Jose, California. And what was a sensational play because White was outside of him and he left his feet and was able to get one leg and pull White to the ground. Clock running at 6.55 to play in the game. You can see how much uh, more Charles has done on the ground today than the entire Washington group and virtually all of the Washington yardage from Vince Kobe. He has 104 of it. Second down and 13 from the 25. McDonald 
Puts it over the middle for Garcia. It's intercepted. Nope, incomplete. Oh, it was almost picked off by Mark Lee. I thought he had it. I did too, Keith. When he fell, it must have popped out. Let's watch it again. Lee number 19 is going to pick up Garcia number 26 across the middle. He'll come right in the picture. There he is, trailing him. Let's see him use a little surge of his 4-3 speed. The ball is a little bit behind Garcia. Nope, the ball comes right out. Yeah, Garcia reached back in there and helped knock it loose. So it is third down and 13 from the 25, and Charles White with it. Oh, what a hit! At the 25-yard line by Doug Martin, number 73. He's white, tough. Goodness oh, gracious, he is a beating. Big old 250-pounder just planted him, and he just bounced right up and said, nice hit, man. Doug Martin was an all-pack 10 tackle last year, second team All-American. All right. It's Mark Lee deep for Pryor's punt. 5.57 to play in the game. Eight men on the rush for Washington. The kick is away. Takes an end over end. Going to bounce. Lee feels it to keep it from bouncing on downfield. Look out. Look out. He steps out of bounds at the USC 23-yard line. Pryor, the punter, knocked him out of bounds. He almost turned that thing loose. <laughs> you could see the blinding speed of Lee. When he once saw a little daylight, he just accelerated right past all of the covers. Let's watch it again. The ball hit in front of him. He picked it up. Momentarily was held, but here's where he turns it on right here. 4-3 speed. Mark Lee returned three this year for a touchdown. NCAA record. Ties an NCAA record. Oh, he almost broke that thing. First down, Washington at the Southern California 23-yard line. 5.37 to play in a ball game. This in Tyler to the 20. Actually, that's about two and a half yard pickup. They expected the blitz, Chief, and they were going to try to split the guard. Southern Cal was have no part of it. 24-17, USC leading. See how big that field goal would have been now? returns this year for touchdown. Coming down to five minutes to play. Second down, long seven from just inside the 20. Flick has time. Gets it off over the middle. They collide penalty. They got their feet tangled up. Williams was down there and Herb Ward got tangled up with him. The receiver fell down. It's pass and appearance, first down and goal to go, Washington. It's very flagrant. I think everyone can see it. Number 91, Herbie Ward, number 23, bumps right into him before the ball gets there. That's the key. And you can see Williams, the freshman, ball. Ward intercepted, but of course the penalty prevails. Washington has it on the two. First and goal to go, 24-17 USC. 4.52 to play in the game. Keith, the big problem here with Washington going for 2 one is the, the possible uh, ineligible players at uh, Arizona, State, Arizona State. State. They'll go for two, I believe. Of course, they got the score first. Yes, that's right. And Tyler sticks his head in there and doesn't get anything. Southern Cal, I remember Notre Dame went to, got a first down on what the one yard line and didn't score uh, this year. They've got an excellent goal line defense. They come forward and move the offensive line back as it did on that play. Nothing. Second down goal to go from the two. But if the players were declared ineligible, a tie would make a big difference here. Sure would. Bauer in motion, and the ball to the tailback, Kobe. He might have lost some that time as George Achika, the big guy in the goal line defense playing nose guard, just muscled his way in there. Hey, that's a tremendous goal line stand. Reminds me a little bit of the Sugar Bowl when mm -hmm. Alabama stopped Penn State. 
taking the ball back four yards, headed to the tailback, and then trying to regain that four yards against the penetrating defense makes it tough. I don't believe they're going to score up the middle. They're going to have to throw right here. Kobe going to the outside, nothing doing. Trojans knock him down all the way back at the six-yard line, and it was Dennis Smith, number 49, the safety, who came blowing in there to make the first contact. It was Ty Sperling who put him down. So now you've got a fourth down and goal to go. Timeout by Washington, 316 to play in the ball game. Both teams with two timeouts remaining, SC leading by seven points. It is fourth down and goal to go for Washington. The football is at the Southern California six-yard line. USC 24, Washington 17, with three minutes and 16 seconds to play in the game. That's all you need to know right now. Underneath pattern to Scansi. Great goal line defense put up by the Trojans. Last gasp on this possession by Washington. Swing it out, pass caught by Kobe. Kobe's belted down at the 20, at the 10 yard line by Myron Lapka, number 96, and number 94, Byron Derby. And so Southern California's defense has done its job. Give credit to the Southern Cal defense, Keith, but also I know that Don James would like to have that series of downs over. Delayed plays from the two-yard line on the first two downs, ran wide on the third, and a swing pass on the fourth. Washington is just not strong enough to run that football up the middle against Southern California. They're just simply not going to do it. Trojans have the ball at the 11-yard line. Now there's only 3.05 to play in the ball game. All they've got to do is just sit on it, hold on to it. Behind that imposing offensive line of scrimmage of Southern Cal has done, they have done a magnificent job, Keith. Ball is at the 14, second down and seven for the Trojans. The clock is running, each team with two timeouts remaining. It's Charles White again. And he runs it up across the 20 to the 22. And that will be a Southern California first down. And Washington's hopes and chances apparently have gone a glimmering now. Had two scoring opportunities. Penalty stopped them once. And then, uh, of course, the great defensive stand. As we look at some scores from the Midwest. We're not going to have time for our scoreboard show as we've reached 7 o'clock in the Eastern time zone. So we'll run down the major scores from around the country for you. First down, USC. All they've got to do is run out two minutes and 10 seconds. Hand it to Allen, the fullback, and Marcus is hit by Jerry McLean right about the line of scrimmage, a junior out of Snohomish. Rutgers had had such a big victory last week over Tennessee, beat Army today. And Yale remains undefeated. Now a minute and 45 to play in the game. Each team has two timeouts. Washington will have to spend them very shortly. Not terribly likely that Southern California will make a mistake. They won't get fancy. All they know full well. When you do get to pitching the ball around too much, it could get away. Here it goes to Charles White again. And Charles is back to the line of scrimmage. And there he stops as Lennon, number 61, is right there. They're calling for timeout. They should, yep, they finally get it the message. And so, a minute 15 remaining to play in what has been a heck of a football game in Seattle, with the Trojans leading the Huskies 24 to 17. Give me well, some of the folks in this crowd of 61,000 or so starting to leave now with a minute and 15 seconds to play in a ball game and USC is affecting a 24-17 lead. Washington having two opportunities to score came away empty. Charles White runs it back into the stack again. Charles now with 20, uh, 38 carries and 243 yards of the ball game. And he will be the most valuable player for the University of Southern California. And for the University of Washington, our vote goes to Tom Flick, the fine quarterback. The respective general scholarship funds of these two fine universities receive $1,000 each from Chevrolet in the name of 
of those two players. Now it is fourth down and 10 for USC. They must punt. Washington's got 10 men on the line of scrimmage and they're going to send them all. You've got a minute 10 to play. You've got Mr. Drama himself on the white shirt sitting down, Charles White. You also have another dramatic personality standing out at the 45-yard line of Washington named Mark Lee, who almost broke a punt return a few minutes ago for a touchdown. He certainly put it in position. I would be surprised if David Pryor kicks the football anywhere near him. All he wants to do is get it off. Give me that ball and get it off. Quick, one, two, kick. Pressure's on, the kick is away, and it's a beauty. A beauty. And Lee's back there all by himself. White shirts everywhere. Down he goes. Back at the 29-yard line, it was a 45-yard pressure-packed punt by David Pryor. He's been talking about Charles White. I just like, I don't remember a player that's as durable and strong for a complete ball game as this young man has been today in every ball game during the season. He's the most durable player I think I've seen. He is a special kind of an athlete. No question about it. Other scores from around the country. As we run out, another Saturday afternoon of college football. We hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you didn't enjoy it, I don't know what in the world we could do for you. Huskies now first down at the 29 with 59 seconds to play in the game. USC playing for the home run defensively. They go short with it. The pass is caught by Scancy, and Scancy is down. A penalty flag. I wonder if he called Hurtman, Keith. I Might can't have. believe. Might I've have. never seen it called, but he actually hurdled the defensive man who was standing up. You can hurdle a man laying on the ground, but you can't one standing up, and that's what Scancy did. Yeah, and I think that's going to cost him. In all oh, personal foul. Well, that's that's, that's the same that's thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is hurt. It's got to be. I don't think I've ever seen it called in 30 years of coaching. But remember those names, folks. Scancy, number 94, freshman, wide receiver, and Aaron Williams on the other side, number 91. And here's watch his athletic ability. <laughs> The penalty is hurdling right here, which is illegal in college football. He hurdles over a man standing up. You can jump over someone laying on the ground, obviously, but you can't a person standing up. That is an unusual athlete and an unusual call mixed with it. Come on, Doug. The football goes all the way back to the 25, just outside the Washington 25, with 42 seconds to play in the game. 42. Scancy, Williams, and Kobe are all to the open side of the field, and Flick's looking for one. Goes over the middle for Scancy. He's got it. And he's down at the SC 49-yard line in front of Jeff Fisher. And 25 seconds to play in the ball game. Dennis Smith should have broken this particular pass up. The ball hangs deep down the middle. Smith is giving a little bit too much cushion. Great concentration by Stanley. Washington with uh, no timeouts remaining. Go to the sideline. Stops the clock with 19 ticks remaining. 19. What do you do here? Most coaches yeah. will put two or three receivers on one side of the field and throw the ball deep down, it'll hoping be it'll, it'll be deflected. Everybody talks about the old phrase second guessing and uh, I don't really care what you call it but you go back to that possession when Washington had down here if they'd gone for the three points they made it a 24 20 ball game then uh, that series of plays from first and goal from the two yard line different game different ball game second down and 10 from the SC 49. Flick puts it up to the air, and it's intercepted. You knew that would happen sooner or later. USC way back there playing the pre-bet defense. Dennis Johnson pulls down his second interception of the ball game, and that should do it. The first one that Dennis intercepted led to the Trojans' go-ahead touchdown. This one probably locks down the victory for USC. Take care of your car at Kmart. Our automotive service centers care. Now here's something that anyone can use. Our best quality 40-piece standard and metric socket wrench set. 
A combination one quarter and three eighths drive with a full unconditional duration warranty. Just $17.88 now through November 24th at Kmart Automotive Centers across the U.S. where quality car products are Kmart priced. Can you feel a difference between the 19 and three quarter cent Bic Shaver and a Track 2? We went to the Cheeks of America to check it out. No difference. I can't tell the difference. Uh, to me, there's absolutely no difference. In our test, 58% found the Bic Shave equal to or better than Track 2s. Yet four Bic Shavers are an incredible 79 cents. Why spend more? Most men we tested felt. No difference. What about the price? Big difference. Time has run out on this football game. The Southern California Trojans beat the Washington Huskies in a... I thought it was a great college football game, a score of 24 to 17. And the Trojans, tied by Stanford, remain undefeated in 1979. The cheetah, one of the most magnificent species on the face of the earth, is in danger of extinction. To help prevent that, the San Diego Wild Animal Park was created. But without insurance to protect the people in the park against financial risk, the park itself, along with zoos and similar parks all over the world, might become an endangered species. We're Crum and Forster, working with more than 9,000 agents and brokers, helping ensure the American way of life. This Bud's for the United States Budweiser Bobsled Team. This Bud's for you, for all you do, the king of beers is coming through. Yeah, Budweiser's proud to sponsor the AAU bobsled team this winter. Here's to you guys, the king of beers. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Travel arrangements made through and promotional fee paid by United Airlines. More people fly United to Hawaii than any other airline. This has been a presentation of the leader, ABC Sport, bringing you exclusive coverage when the world comes to America this February for the 1980 Winter Olympics. USC 24, Washington 17. Tomorrow it's a Mork and Mindy doubleheader as they first uncover the naked truth at a daring dance palace. And then... Mork joins forces with another alien. Mork and Mindy, tomorrow here on ABC. Good, 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 good.